Uh, are we live? Uh, are we live? Uh, are we live? Fantastic. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein I am still facing the gargantuan, uh, the Everest that is designing bioscience. Let's get to it, shall we? Um, but first... Ruru, Twisty P, Philip B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bit of a later start today because it is, frankly, really hot. And also humid. Now it's a chilly 29 degrees Celsius as I get started, so... Perfect, perfect time to get going. Let's do that. Alright, back into the editor with no worry about life support. Um, I think this is about as small as this gets. Okay. So we can obviously make these uh, bio cultures and experimental biocultures at speed. Should have a zero rate on those as well. Why are we net positive on experimental biocultures? Uh oh, I think I see why. Give me more speeds. Alright, so those should all be zero. Net zero. Nutrient vat, bioculture, and experimental bioculture. Perfect ratio. Fantastic. And then normally we would export to train, but the reason we're doing this monolithic build is... Uh, basically... Because... The stack size of these damn things is five. So we want to keep it on belts as much as we can. Alright, I kind of want the... What? I was going to say. I kind of want the... Um, the more basic one on the left. Okay, so input side is here. Oh. I may have made it a bit more complicated than it needs to be. Um, on the other hand, I could probably... Twenty-seven point two per second, twenty-seven point two per second... Um, I could probably do like a U-shape. For each of these. Or I could just like do it around here and around here. Well, it's definitely going to be more straightforward if we do it like this for experimental bioculture. Luckily, we can filter these. We're also going to need nutrient gel to find its way over here. And here. What's our overall rate for nutrient gel? 1000 per second. That's still not that bad, honestly. We'll put some pumps here. And... And what? How about a pump here? I guess it makes no difference. Or very little, anyway. Let's get a niner over here. And 
change this way. And then, what's this? A five or a seven? Seven. And a three. And I forgot we're doing input on this side as well. Wait, is it half a belt? It's just slightly more than half a belt for uh, biocultures or experimental biocultures. So if we don't mind wasting a whole lot of experimental bioculture, it'll sit on the belt down here. I guess we could... have a straight line. Alternatively, I could do a little chest here. And we do filtered bioculture down this way. Um, and then we just do like a split input. But we need like multiple... No, 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 no. I don't like that anyway. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. I see six tiles here that we'd have to jump over with an underground belt, unfortunately. Otherwise I would have squeezed in the other type through here. Don't forget our outputs up here. We'll put our pump there. Maybe even another pump from here. And then what do we have? Three, five, that doesn't work very well. At least it's centered. Might have to change that a little bit. All right, so we would need splitters for one thing. Let's just remove that for the moment. Input, input. And input. And input. Fantastic. Why is this disconnected here? Should be this way. Okay. And then we also need to do the same thing with uh, biocultures. Let's see. How am I going to get it? Hmm. I think I will have the bioculture come up from the other side. Like this. That goes there. You'll make a little exception for this one. Um, and then this would have splitters like so. It needs to go up this way as well. Where are the inputs on? Okay, I see. This is input. I can stop there. And this is input. Cool, cool, cool. I think. Okay. Let's tentatively say we go with that. Uh... 
So we're just going to have... Where's our input? Oh, right. Going to need a underground belt somewhere. It's going to have to... I think, I think we should do an underground here. Something like that. And then up this way. Seems good. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Actually, I want to connect these first. We have like a... Like a seven hit... No, 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 no. About a seven like this. Split is kind of in the way. Or we could do it this way. I th think that's going to be the way to go. Is that nine tiles? Ten, eleven, twelve. Sure. That one should... Oh, god damn it. Let's just move the splitter over a bit. This is purely aesthetic. And then some corners. Alright. Does this work if we start pouring inputs in? Morpheus? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Tasman, Tasman Devil. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Also, hope you're all doing well. Viking Gamer. Good to see you again as well. What are we missing? Bio Sludge. For both of these, actually. Bio Sludge. And this one needs nothing else, except uh, a trickle of genetic data, and it needs a swap chest, which I'll probably put, like, here, maybe? So we'll be getting the, um, the train inputs from up, up here somewhere-ish. Um, let's say... Genetic data comes from here. Rayclaw, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. And then I want input only if we've got less than some amount. We only need 10 for a recipe. It's quite fast though, isn't it? No relatively slow compared to, like, an inserter, I believe. Net 2.72 per second. Alright, so we'll have, um, superior inserter, superior filter inserter, genetic data. We also need to do something with the junk cards. Um... Which I'll just just put something here to sort of acknowledge that, and we'll deal with it later. Um, but yeah, we'll say genetic... Doesn't this thing need a swap as well? Uh, nope, not even a little bit. If genetic data less than 12, let it in. 12, because that is one stack inserter. Oh, and we need some Vitamelange as well. I could probably just put uh, Vitamelange in here also. Spice. I think it was Spice. Yes. 13.6 per second. 
Um, we'll do something similar here. Whoops. Okay. I guess I could allow a little bit more to flow in. About one stack. Perfect. So that's our... Uh, I always forget what it's called. Bioculture? Looks like it's getting where it needs to go. But not here, because we had some random crap on the belt. Did we fix it? I think we did. It's a little hard to tell because, depending on the angle, this looks different on the belt. But, um, oh, this has no filter on it. That might help as well. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Bioculture. And nothing else. So that's bioculture, junk data, and genetic data. Could come out. This one we did filter. Let's remove that for a sec and make sure everything goes where it's supposed to. There's an obvious uh, place we could squeeze this through that's going to look a little bit more elegant. As long as we don't mind a few extra undergrounds. That boy slim, Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I definitely like that better. Alright, in go the vats. Let's just void all of our output. To check that all of this is working. Looks like it is. This one's just getting started, and this one has inputs, so it should be working. Um, and I was going to say it might take a little while for that to saturate, but... Uh, I mean, the ratio is perfect, which means the amount of time it's going to take um, for, the, for everything to reach where it's supposed to on the build is kind of maximized, actually. Evil Plum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I think we should have a container um, close by. And it's going to have... This would actually line up pretty well. We're just going to say... Uh, we can have X amount of... Uh, biomass in here, and Y amount of experimental biomass. Lazarek, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe I should keep it relatively small, especially because um, experimental biomass is going to create like up to half. I mean, on average, it'll be 25% biomass, I believe. Getting chat showing up on stream before in my chat box? That's a new one to me. Oh no. Well. I don't know, I guess you could try refreshing. Can only speculate. I don't know, I mean, it's, it's all Twitch, isn't it, though? 
So why would that even be a thing? Alright. Where, where are you going? Wrong way. Wrong way, go back. Okay. Uh, and we're probably going to need to connect wires straight to the inserters here, I think. Because those belts are going to be shared by the experimental biomass outputs. And... I'm a little concerned. Um... I mean, it's not really, it's only an aesthetic concern, but, like, how I'm going to get these wires where I need them to be is a whole thing. Just connect it like that, I guess. Should we limit the output of this one at all? Probably. But I won't bother limiting the regular biomass outputs. Oh, lovely. Doesn't reach. That has been a thing for mods for a long time. Started about a week ago when you start viewing the chat bar. Fills with old messages and their times. Oh, that. I thought, um... I thought Glacier was saying that the lag from chat was longer than the lag to see the actual video, like, and uh, my stuff putting chat on the screen. Cat and True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a good feature, that you can actually see chat a couple of minutes back when you get back in. Or uh, when you come in, rather. It also means if you refresh the page and someone added you at just the wrong moment, you're not going to miss it. Did I not update themes? I did not. Okay, we're going to have to fix those. Holy crap, that filled up quickly. What T Hack said, indeed. Okay. Um. So where am I gonna fit? Well, pretty much wherever I want, I guess. We're gonna have to have filters. Um. Just so that we can put the different types of biomass on different sides of the belt. I want to put them closer to the other inserters, the older ones. Uh, we don't need it for these ones though, whoops. Just the, just the ones that output two types of biomass. That's not gonna reach, is it? Okay. And that's not gonna reach down there either. So this goes here. That looks hideous. That needs to reach up. Well, that's going to be different. That goes there and there. And there and there. And that doesn't go there. And 
plastic. Okay, I should probably try and check that all of these wires are connected, which they're not, because we haven't connected the inside to the outside. Now oh, we're going to need multiple hops here. Oh, uh, come on. Can I not make it look at least a little bit consistent? <sighs> I guess I could link it up this way. No, we'll just have to bring this all the way down here. And then this one's kind of different. I don't like it. I guess that'll do. I guess it'll have to. Alright, try and confirm that all of those wires are connected. It looks like they are. Now the setting on these ones needs to be biomass is less than X. Um, should we say half full or a little bit less? Considering the really small stack size and the distance that we need to travel down the belts and the high throughput, um, I'm thinking we should probably set this pretty low. Let's say like um 50, 100, 200 because it's gonna it's gonna way overshoot that. And I'll probably just set the same targets for experimental biomass. Um, which will overshoot it by even more, but some of what comes down there will just be regular biomass anyway. So it should kind of even out. Um, so. Whoops. Set filter, biomass. If experimental biomass is... Less than 200. And then, so we don't have to do all that typing, we'll copy paste over the settings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what? Eight. That should be all of them. Alright. What are we missing here? Removal of junk data cards? Uh, also vitamelange extract and experimental genetic. But those two could just be put... Oh. There's like five of... There's a bunch of these. Okay. Um... Yeah, I kind of forgot that we have more than one of these machines. I think we'll do the junk data card removal. I'm not entirely sure where, to be honest. But I think we'll link them between here one way or the other. Can we actually... No. Of course not. We 
What's our rate for the purple things? Slightly more than half a bell. That's a little bit annoying. Alright. One belt for the purple things. And one... Didn't we have a problem about putting these? Uh, it didn't happen over here. No, that should be fine. Okay. Two... Four, six. Near side for the front ones. But we need a filter on these, actually. We need to filter out purple vets. Where are they? Experimental bioculture. And drain all of this for the moment. And I think we'll do a long filter for junk cards, was it? Junk data card. How many junk data cards are we getting? Slightly more than half a belt. I get the exact same amount. Okay. Near side for you as well. And then, how much from over here? One tenth as much. 2.72 per second. Okay. D hacks. What? Is the end in sight with bio sludges? <laughs> Uh, we'll definitely finish it this year. Th that's a campaign promise. Um, and I'll just remove those. And then... And then we need a splitter for this. And I think we're ready. Oh, we need vitamin lunge extract and genetic. I forgot to do the input belt. Oh no. I thought I was going to be able to have a clean IO here, but it was me, Dio. We need slightly more than half a belt. For two outputs, we need slightly more than half a belt for two inputs other than nutrient vat, which we're direct inserting. That's actually pretty annoying. If I'd gone just a little smaller, this would have been a lot easier. But then, you know, maybe we'll upgrade this one day as well. Let's put this aside for a moment. What if we did some belt stuff? Name and base, Glacier Wolf, no worries. Yep, I will waste waste these points indeed. Fantastic. Um, how about we figure out some kind of repeating pattern here? Someone call for Dio. <laughs> Cottontail, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I have a few redeems from yesterday as well. I just have to... Whoops. Opened my browser. Uh, I just have to double check that I got them all as well. We'll do that in a few minutes. Okay. Let's see. Individually, they definitely don't need, like, two belts of input. What if we could, like... Oh, this is the length of an underground, which is convenient enough. 
So we could do it like that, but maybe... It's only a little bit more than one belt, right? Like this? This is just over half a belt. For each input. I wonder... No. I was going to say maybe if we put like our two inputs here and then just do it like this. That would just barely not work. We need to... If we're going to do that... We'd need to bring second input to here, actually. That looks a little weird, but it gets the job done. Hopefully, it leaves enough room for what I've got in mind. What? Why is that? Oh, I see. No, oh, that's right. That outer one has to be not quite max range. So this would be our input pattern. Um, except that we wouldn't need this bit afterwards. Just like this. And I think I just messed up the pattern that I had with these. There we go. And then, like so. And that should leave us plenty of room for output. Well, first of all... First of all, let's just check that Editor extensions unable to identify belt type. KRSE loader. Huh. Oh. Is it because I connected this? Yeah, it is. Interesting. Anyway, we're just going to void everything. Um, to test that we've got enough input. So we want to go for... Extract and spice. Extract and spice. And everything. That's not right. That's not spice. That's experiment. Oh no, my brain is already melting. Experimental genetic data. Alright, switch those on. And this should be able to run at full speed, I think. Ohio, Mr. JJ, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yurashai. Alright, so this one's obviously going full speed. This one's obviously going full speed. I think I saw this one stopped. No, it's just the animation. Which is a really cool animation, by the way. Look at that thing. It's actually a bunch of bio samples. Specimens. Razor K, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why is this one busted? Because we forgot a underground. Fantastic. This one also looking good. And this one also looks pretty good. So the last four of them can run off of one belt, and we've got the second belt merging in after the first two out of six. So that should be fine. You're wanting two arms on the second from the top, and second from the bottom right? Oh. Did I... No? No, I think we're fine. I tweaked this yesterday. We need two arms from each biochemical facility to feed two different machines. And... I'm 
pretty sure that's all it takes, even though these two in the middle are only fed by one machine, and the ones on the outside as well. Um, it still works out well enough. So it's kind of like the, uh, the classic, um, what is it, two to three? For circuits? Oops. Circuits traditionally don't use Holmium cable. Uh, this won't work for K2, but for vanilla, um, it looks something like this. So these ones on the outside, actually, are just feeding one to one. Uh, but this one in the middle is feeding two of them. That's a cute emote. Okay. Damn, I love the animation on these. Alright, so then we just need to deal with the output. Uh... Which adds up to more than one belt. But I don't think we need uh, a shed. We don't need two loaders to output from any one machine. So, how do we do this? We're not recycling anything, it's just junk and desired. Um, output. So, maybe we could just do it like this? Well, I was going to do a filter, but then we would need more splitters for this to merge in, right? To have two belts of output. I mean, yeah, I think that's probably what we have to do. So we're just going to put... Instead of filtering by junk data card, let's show what we're actually making here. Experimental biomass on the inside track. And I think that's it. What's the total for junk data cards for all of these? Uh, less than one belt. Fantastic. Beautiful. Is this thing going to tend to put the junk data cards on one side, or no? Let's find out. Uh... Maybe. Yeah, I think the loaders tend to pref prefer one side. They seem to prefer put... Oh... Oh, because we output exactly one and one at the same time. So yeah, it's definitely going to output one on one side and the other on the other side. Except when it gets blocked. Which means... Which means we're only going to get half a belt of output for each of these, basically. Well, that's annoying. Is there something I can do about it? I mean, obviously there's something I can do about it, but... What's the most elegant thing I can do about it? Hmm... The output rate from any machine is uh, a bit over 9 per second. It's not great when we have to do that kind of speed onto belts with inserters. 
Kandar Jr. Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What happened? Uh, what's happening is... I made an output thing so that we could have two belts of output. Um, one for junk data and one for our desired product. But because the recipe outputs one and one of each at the same time... What's going to happen is... Over and over again, it's going to output both simultaneously, which with a loader is going to put one thing on one side and one thing on the other side, and always in the same arbitrary order, which means that we can't, just using splitters like this, use a full belt for either one. Spending points, indeed, Tasman. Alright, I'll take a little break from this to do the Spellevator stuff. Let's have a look. Um, I'll just double check that I've done all the things from yesterday first. Because I forgot to mark them off at the very least, a couple of them. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, there we go. I did put my browser on, like, low CPU usage, but it's being really slow. Fatboy not so slim, and Glacier Wolf claiming the gold. And I think Glacier Wolf must already be here. Fatboy also added a name. We've got Fatboy. Alright, let me mark off Fatboy first. And Bachi Pump. Welcome, welcome. This minute? How dare you. Oh no, that's just when it happened. I thought you were saying do it this minute for a second there. Good grief. Hasman, okay, we'll do that as well. Uh, Glacier Wolf, where is your name up here? Or is it somewhere else? Glacier Wolf, Glacier Wolf. Is it down below? There it is. Alright. Glacier Wolf. Fantastic. Let me just mark that one off. Uh, so that one's done. Heat treat cottontail in gold. I'm gonna def. Oh. Oh, we've already got you here, but you claimed it twice. I'm guessing you want gold in the space elevator. Oh, we've already got you. Okay. Alright. Mark that one off. Um, Tasman and Tasman. Okay. Start with gold. Didn't misspell it, did I? Nope. Oh, Tasman Devil. How about that? Tasman Devil, uh, Kandar Jr. Would be a space. Kandar Jr. I am the sky. <laughs> Budgie bun. Do we have you in space already, Budgie? We do. Gold in space. Fantastic. 
Uh, I guess I am the sky is next. Well, Fraser may as well go upgrade downstairs since you will go down anyway. Wait, what? Fraser K. How many budgie bums have we got? Good grief. I don't think we do have you down below yet, Fraser K. Come back to that. We know we've got I Am The Sky from scratch in space. I Am The Sky. There we go. Why am I trying to click on my calculator or something? Go to my browser. Glacier Wolf. As above, so below, Petri Cottontail. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are Skyrim noises. Okay. Uh, Glacier Wolf. In space and upgrading space. Didn't we have you up here? We're getting all mixed together in my head. No, no, I was looking for Glacier Wolf a minute ago. Glacier Wolf. And we just did it down here, that's right. Okay, and that just leaves. Razor K may as well upgrade downstairs since you will go down any way. Razor K, I don't. Uh, I don't think you have a non-gold one down below yet. Middle left, third down. Middle. Oh, how did I miss that? Okay. Three is a K. Fantastic. Okay, we got there eventually. Alright. Below my clap downstairs, indeed. Alright, everyone happy? We good? And welcome in everyone who squeezed in while we were doing all that. Snipe the routine. Indeed. Tried to overwhelm you, that's how you missed it. Indeed it is. Okay, let's continue with our gigantic build. Where I still haven't come up with a solution to this, actually. Thank you, thank you. So how should I go about it? Um, what if we don't filter these until the very end? Is that going to make it work? Just order almost magically? Somehow I suspect the answer is no. It'll have to catch up first if it is going to work. Uh, I think if we input... If we prio the input, we'll be able to see wh whether it's working rather quickly. It is definitely not working. Yeah, no, no, that definitely doesn't work. Surprisingly enough. Alright, so how should we do this? Is there faster space belts? Yeah, but the game is practically over by the time you can unlock them. Deep space belt. Um, it actually requires Naquium, like for each individual. Uh, two Naquium plate for 20 deep space belt. And a bunch of other stuff which is trivial compared to acquiring the Naquium. So, like, 
Uh, what research is this under? Deep Space 2. By the time you unlock this, all of your builds are done. So, like, what are you going to do? Go back and upgrade, like, literally over 100 builds? I don't think so. I do not think we will do that. Um... Hmm. Oh, what if we use some strong boxes? That's probably gonna work just fine. Super easily as well. Praise loaders. And we just need some filters on these. Uh, purple vats, and junk data cards, and then Oops, if we have loaders. Yeah, that should be pretty much trivial. No worries whatsoever. We can even see, based on the shape of the items on the belt, like a good estimation of what our throughput is here, which is to say slightly more than half a belt for each. So you are saying that research needs to unlock sooner? If I'm ever going to bother to build those belts, then yes. Uh, it's it's like a much more severe version of um, getting advanced chemical plants, but we need to do a bunch of builds that use a bunch of chemical plants. Uh, well, no, that's not a good comparison, actually. Um... What would be a good comparison? I can't think of anything else. I think there was like one other technology that's like super cool, but by the time we get it, who cares? We've already finished the game. Oh, no, no, no. It's not even, uh, it, it's not even in Factorio. It's anything you get by killing the Moon Lord in Terraria. Uh, if you're playing vanilla, then when you kill the Moon Lord, You've won the game. That's it. Game's over. Uh, so any any loot that requires farming the Moon Lord is a toy. You know, it's bragging rights. That's all it is. Which is fine, but like... The belts? Maybe... Maybe give me those belts a little sooner, you know? Maybe that'd be a good idea. Uh, I could do junk cards going the other way so that we could have an output somewhere. Without having to make more space here somehow. Or what about this? This is going to look a bit sketchy, but... I guess it's not all that bad. Four blocks? Four blocks what? Well, post Moon Lord killing the Empress of Light on daytime? Oh god, oh no. Oh no no no. Oh no 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 no. Alright, and let's just have like a... filtered output for junk 
codes, that should be fine. Alright, let's reset this and see how it goes. Undo. Dioka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Johan Anderson, good to see you again also. What is this? A build using two blocks? Yep. Bioscience loves its ridiculously tiny high throughput. A uh, tiny sack size high throughput items. Uh, that take up a lot of space to make. So... So we're, we're, we're making a little exception. Vanilla infinite research? Yeah, I don't think I can be bothered with that. To be perfectly honest. Like, what, another 100 or 200 hours after we've basically finished the game? Right, cool. I think there's more than enough room on the junk data card belt for this one to output with inserter. Shouldn't be a problem. And then? Oh, you've already stopped? Holy crap, that's fast. Let's see that again. Alright, in comes the everything. And we start making the biomass. We start making the regular biomass significantly after we start making some experimental biomass, actually. There it goes. Fantastic. And we've already got... Like 100 versus 80. Well, it, it's literally too fast for me to comment. We're almost at 200 regular biomass, 140 experimental. Cool, cool, cool. And the regular ones should stop outputting, and these ones want to get to 200, which we already did. Nice. That'll do. Just wondering, because it's got normal rail around the build. Yeah, I'm just, uh... I want it to fit in the rail network, but I want to avoid, or at least minimize, running biomass around with trains. Mr. Dane, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Expand build to include the blue biomass? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no no. What does it take to make the blue biomass? Significant biomass. Experimental plus vitalic reagent plus neural gel. I'm this close to just saying, screw it, put everything in the rail network, and we'll just use more trains. But then, like, look at how many... Okay, let's calculate how often we would need a train for just one of these blocks for biomass. Uh, whichever one would be fastest, if it were going full speed consistently, which uh, is not necessarily realistic. I think we're going for, like, three or four data cards per second, um, although we need, like, more than that to supply some other builds. So if this is, like, 10 point... It's a bit more than two stacks per second here. Close to two there, close to two there. Um, 10.8 something or other? Uh, let's see. 5 times 100. 
500 over 10.88. Uh, hmm. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. We'd need a train every 46 seconds. Just for the biomass. That's still kind of extreme, but it's not like... It's not like when I designed Naquium uh, off-stream without looking at stack sizes and then calculated that we need a train every 12 seconds. Trains are easier than sludge everywhere. Then trains are good. How long for a train to unload? Oh, it's like instant. Uh, with with a with a stack size of five, it's blindingly fast. It's like less than a second. Hmm. I still wouldn't mind uh, at least making the biomass this way. And it's not just sunk cost because I already built this. Like, we've... I, I don't want to, uh... I don't want to put nutrient vats and biocultures into the rail system because... Oh, what the bloody hell is it called? Uh, let me just search this way. Specific. So the, the problem I'm having right now is when you search FNEI for some things, it doesn't have the same name. You want to search specimen to find biomass. Uh, and the way you find that out is open debug mode, point at biomass, uh, and it says item name SE-specimen. So I guess FNEI just works off the item name variable. Anyway, uh, biocultures, for example, unless we want to breed fish or make wood with it, probably not. Um, the only, literally the only use for this is to make biomass. And it's got a very small stack size. Uh, so we want to use belts. Same thing goes for the nutrient bats. Right click. Goes into experimental bioculture. It's used to make genetic facility. And that's literally it. It's just, just what we see here. That's the only use for nutrient vats which have a stack size of 5 and are produced at speed. But yeah, considering how fast our trains are, and how surprisingly not as bad uh, the calculation was for how often our trains would need to resupply those outposts, uh, maybe we will use, bio uh, use trains to move biomass. Okay, so I guess if we're going to build this, this thing... Um, it does simplify what we're looking to do overall here, at least. I mean, that's kind of the point of modular rail blocks. Sig, we won't be able to build this yet, but significant biomass. Um, experimental biomass, vitalic reagent, and neural gel. So one solid, one fluid, plus what we're making here. And it also spits out some bio sludge, which we can recycle on the spot, and no doubt we'll still have a net negative rate of consumption um, for biomass. So we won't have to do anything too special with that. You don't need to set up a train pickup for those. Not that the build is stalled by logic. How much is the storage chest? Uh, the storage chest is 512 stacks. Um, and I, I set the limits on these. Like, the inserters will stop outputting when we've only got 200. So, um, uh, is it 20? No, 40 stacks, right? 
Once we've got 40 stacks of whichever type of biomass, um, the insertals will stop. And obviously there's a bit of lag time with the belts, especially with high throughput small stack size. Um, so I wanted to err on the side of caution with that. That's what I was looking for, indeed. I was looking for belt lag, for lack of a better term. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so our targets for both of these is 200. Um, I didn't adjust our target for experimental biomass because it also outputs like 25% regular biomass. So it's also going to increase the amount of regular biomass we get. So it's not going to matter as much that it's further back up the belt. Maholic, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. We've come to scratch your furniture, I presume? Bio buddies, indeed. Uh, I was just about to begin the arduous process of adding significant biomass to this, which actually probably isn't that arduous compared to everything else we're already doing here. I'll just confirm, there's no way I'm fitting this in a regular rail block. No. We're probably going to end up with plenty of extra space, though. How's the planning? Uh, going pretty well, actually. I just did the math to demonstrate that we probably shouldn't put biomass in trains, uh, and then realized it's not as bad as I thought. But we're still not going to put uh, nutrient vats and biocultures in trains because there's no reason. We should definitely consume that straight away. The bio recipes, K2SE pretty rough with the K2 bits, indeed. Okay, so what do we want to aim for? Let's look at our rate. 34, 20, 0.4. I think if we get like maybe 10 or so significant biomass maximum, we don't need a lot of machines for that. Let's go for like, I don't know, 8. Should be super overkill. Wait, what can this support? Um, 20.4 biomass per second. And net consume 20.8. Let's go for four machines. I'm guessing, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing we won't need as much of the higher tier biomasses. We could, of course, calculate all of this uh, if we want to spend an awful, awful lot of time in Factory Planner. That's not quite my style. Maybe if I was doing, like, a vanilla, um, high SPM base idea, then I would plan the entire factory, but for K2, uh, for SE or SEK2, I, I don't, I don't see myself bothering. Okay, so how many of these did I say? Four? To consume most of... The experimental biomass, but realistically, we won't have to keep that up. Um, how do I want to lay this out? I'm pretty sure there's nowhere I could... Technically, I could squeeze four of these under that beacon up there, just to save 10 megawatt, but like... We're in orbit. Power is extremely cheap. Speaking of which, um, am I sending electricity downstairs? I really should be. Let's check how... how our power is. Seems fine. We're only sending 1.3 gigawatt down the... oh, oh, oh. How many accumulators we got? Eight? That's probably not enough for uh, spikes like that. Uh, yeah, because if we weren't sending power up or down, it only consumes from both ends, right? 
And now we've got no accumulators and the extreme spikes from using the space elevator might be potentially causing problems with some of our more sensitive combinators and stuff. So we should probably put a bunch of accumulators out um, just to be safe. Not sure how many we need exactly. Um, I just kept adding some to whichever our first outpost was. And I, I can't remember like what solar percentage it was, but we ended up with like... Well, I guess it doesn't matter what the solar percentage is. If the idea is to cover the spikes. Um, 400 should be far more than enough. But where am I going to put them all? Would larger trains just for bio help? Uh, well, I don't really want dedicated trains though. Also, they would accelerate more slowly. How many is this? 89. Alright, so now I want to see what the power looks like when a train goes through the el- oh, here we go. Uh, looks like it can handle it now. Oh, that was like two minutes ago. Are we still sending power down? No. Okay. So I just want to see what the spike looks like when train go through elevator. Especially make sure none of this goes yellow. No, I think we're good now. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I should put some accumulators around the elevator. That should probably mean that we consume nuclear fuel a little bit more slowly, and I probably should have done it sooner. 24 gigawatt out of 11. Nice. Um, so back to the planning. Where do I want to put it? I think it's about time I start thinking about... If we're going to have a regular block here, and the train needs to go here, we would need this roundabout. Right? Unless the train is going to approach from a completely different angle, that would still work. But I don't know that we strictly need the space that we're saving by not having this here. All right. This is going to take a minute, but let's make a few space rail blocks. Should probably get some water now. Actually, I think it's going to have to be soft drink because my water is still not even remotely cold. to go. And 
click. Oh, that one was a little bit faster. Alright. So this much is not negotiable. Um, we can cut this off. And I'd like to make it relatively neat and tidy. Wait, that's, that can stay there, actually. Luckily, we're only removing things that don't need... Uh, don't need scaffolding. That's a little bit easier. Neat. Uh, don't think we need this many signals over here. That's probably fine, especially considering how quickly the trains would go through the strait. We could probably fit some more solars here if we really wanted to. Not too worried about it, to be honest. Um, and I don't think we'd need as many signals here as we usually have. Right. That should probably be fine. We'll probably use that as the template for every other corner. Uh, except this one we're going to be using for input. I think. Get rid of a lot of this, all of this, maybe I should have disabled, um, like, maybe I should have jumped into the map editor settings so that I was just putting ghosts down so they don't actually recalculate the train paths. That would have been the smarter thing to do. No. Oh. There we go. Yeah, as much as there's, as much as there's going to be an annoying pause involved every time we do this, I think it's going to be a lot easier if we copy paste from that first one we did. And one more down the middle. I should probably make a blueprint of this. Um, just in case it's not the last time we do this. Hopefully it will be. Okay. So this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here. Fantastic. Get rid of all the extra scaffolding, um, put more... Put the put more substation pylons in. 
So we have full coverage. And in before my build that I'm going to put in here, can't abide the positioning of some of those poles. I'm sure we'll figure out a way around it. And then... Is that the last one? Uh, yes. Yes, I think it is. Okay. Uh, what should I call this? Actually, let me just look at my naming convention here. Let's copy this, and then... I don't know. Black solar, space rail, and then another one of these. Two by two. Does the snap to still work? I think it will. Yeah, 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 that's good. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, I need to do select new contents first. Up. Uh, and I'm hoping the same snap to is gonna carry us, which it does. Fantastic. Look at that. My clan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to bed, just stopped in to say hi and listen to my dulcet tones, no doubt. I see what you're up to. Thanks for dropping by my clap. Alright, let's try squeezing our build. Well, it's not going to be a squeeze, but um, see where it's going to fit. Did I cover those? I did not. What's the cap before? Yeah, that's actually going to be pretty easy to fit, except uh, I'm not going to find a convenient location around the existing pylons, I don't think. I'm pretty damn sure of that. Alright, let's put in our I.O. station. That snap wouldn't do rotations. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it matters. Okay, let's remove these and paste this somewhere. We'll probably move it a little bit. I mean, we'll almost definitely be moving it soon. Um, put in a couple of drop-off stations. Oh boy. Why are we not connecting rail here? What the bloody... What? Doesn't it go one, two, three, one, two, and then we put these here, and then... All is well. This normally works. One, two, three, one, two. Uh, I think I misplaced that one, and they're connected. Okay. So, what do we need? Let's make a list. Uh, we need iron, glass, and nutrient gel. Right, let's do two constant combinators. One for solids, one for fluids. Uh, we need nutrient gel. We need biomass. We need pickups for both types of contaminated. Uh, I believe we need neural gel as well. Uh, 
because that's going to be in our next build. Those drop-offs look tiny compared to the block. Yeah, they kind of do. Um, and then we need iron. Glass. Uh, spice. Genetic data. Where's the spice? Spice genetic data, bio sludge we already got. These three we already got. Uh, I'll just check this one's neural gel. It is. We also need a vitalic reagent. Um, we'll obviously dump the bio sludge into this thing. Since it's dependent on... Uh... Sig and experimental. Wait, what? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it's, it's, de it's dependent on experimental, which is dependent on bio sludge, ultimately. Um, how much bio sludge goes into this? 10? So 10 bio sludge makes one experimental bioculture, which makes um, 7.5 experimental... Nope. It's 0 0.75 experimental biomass per bioculture. And then... 0 0.5 gives us back like 2.5 bio sludge. I, I, I'm pretty sure we don't have to worry about being net positive um, on bio sludge. Let's just confirm it. So we were going to have uh, like four of these, I think. To consume most of, if not all, the experimental biomass. 20.4 per second, net rate 21.76 per second. I'm okay with that, especially considering how much we'll accumulate. So if we rate calc this, bio sludge is very net negative. I don't think we have to worry about getting clogged up here. Maybe it's a visual bug only? Wait, what bug was that? Um... Oh, we also need extract and experimental genetic. So the mirror of this thing, basically. So two solids that are common to these two builds. Two solids here, two solids here. We can afford room for two train loads of no one train load of stuff if we don't add more containers here um we could have a train load one two three four five six one two three four five six we could put like iron on this side glass on this side but i'm guessing at least one of these is going to be kind of high throughput Iron and glass are actually quite slow, Vitamelange is pretty slow, Extract is just as slow relative to the stack size. Experimental Genetic is a bit more than half a stack per second. 
Uh, genetic data net rate is actually very, very slow. So... But we can, like, barely fit one train load of each if I don't add any more containers, is the thing. So I guess... I guess, I guess... Is it okay to connect these? I think it is. And whatever extra storage containers that we're going to have here. We could have, like... Container for iron and glass. How big do we want to have? How about room enough for more than a trainload of iron and glass right here? And then... One, two, three, four... Yeah, I think that works. Um, might want to keep that balanced, though. It should get consumed in a balanced enough fashion if we do this. So we're doing extract and experimental genetic, like that. And then we bring those together and down here. This is all a little bit tentative. Make sure we have a splitter. We already have... Well, they eventually lead to a splitter, but no, I would definitely like a splitter up here. Should consume from those equally. And then we could have, like... Hmm. Yeah, let's say we ask for 1.5 trainloads of each of these. And I think we could... Still do a drop off for iron or glass in the same place. And just have the iron or glass go like this. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Whichever side consumes resources faster can have glass because the stack size is higher. And it's going to take longer for it to drain away. Or should that be the opposite way around? Yeah, whichever side consumes resources slower for these two. So I think that's this side. 2.7 per second genetic data. And 13.6. Uh, the vitamelange relative to stack is about the same. Although the stack size is higher. Yeah, I think we'll do glass on the left. Glass on the left. Uh, might not be the best idea to limit that to half a belt through here. And this one will be iron plate. It's going to be a little hard to test this idea. I wonder if I could move these over just a couple of tiles, or like three tiles, so that we could at least have this in a straight line. Probably. Wait. Uh, 
I may have missed... I may have missed a few things with the copy-paste. Just, just a couple of things. Not, not, not a big deal. Uh, I could move it over two tiles. Since you're doing specific inputs from the two different train stops, is it wise to keep them all connected on one green wire? I think I can, yeah, because we're just having a red wire to tell each station the negatives for the requests. Uh, and since... whoops. Uh, since we have a default... Um, provide threshold that's so high that it effectively doesn't exist. It won't matter if they're receiving positive signals for things that are not relevant to that station. But I want each of them to know how much iron and glass is in here. Well, glass on this side, iron on this side. I mean, I could swap the wire colors on one of them so that we could do basically this but without like cross contamination uh but it's just not necessary we got the red was what controlled what got dropped indeed okay so can we move this three tiles over i think we can't one, two, three. Unless... Unnecessary signals? Who doesn't want to sacrifice an incalculably small amount of UPS? For a slight aesthetic improvement. Okay, so this can go, unfortunately, not here. Could put this one here, that's actually pretty close. Could almost pretend that lines up. Well, I could probably move this up a tile as well. Also, this can move, but we know that. So like, yeah, perfect. I don't suppose this one happens to line up, not even close. Um, do we put it further up or further down? Who knows? Wait, why is this over to the left so Oh no. No, that's right. That's... Yeah, Almost perfect, considering the circumstances. That's by far as good as it's going to get. Cool. We could do our junk data card output here, perhaps. Let's finish all the rest of the build before we decide. So then we're going to have pickup stations. For each type of specimen... Um, it's doing the bug thing again. Oh, that bug. That's what you're talking about. Maybe a visual bug only? No, you can tell because if you mouse over the, um, the train stop, it doesn't show the projection of where the train would go all the way through. Very weird. Oh knows it's not symmetrical, indeed. Someone press the nope button. Alright, so how about we do a nice symmetrical output like 
soon. Uh, are we... I think we're only ever going to pick these up with long trains, right? We've got tons of space. I should probably do the junk fluid output somewhere else. Uh, and then obviously... Damn it. No, it's not symmetrical. Specimen number one. Specimen number two. And I would love to... Well, I guess we could make it a little more symmetrical like this. As much as I don't like the loaders coming out of the corners, it doesn't quite look right. Okay. And then? I could move these up a bit. And have the fluid outputs down there. Perhaps. This is a crime against the T Hack Symmetry Accords, indeed. Let's put a little extra scaffolding in here. Oops. Oh. There we go. Uh, actually, I want it up here, so never mind. So we're just going to cut this, paste this. Remember that um, bulk rail loaders don't like copy pastes and stuff, but we seem to be okay this time. And then perhaps we could have junk fluid outputs down here. Did you decide against doing blue biomass here too, or just haven't gotten to it? Just haven't gotten to it. Alright. It will make it ever so slightly slower for the trains to pick up. If they have to go up this way. How often do we have to pick up the sludge though? Not often. No, I think I should actually put this back down here and we'll maybe uh, I think the fluid wagons might complain because of this though it's probably fine how often can we support a train with this 34 per second is quite fast uh 1.7 trains in five seconds? Wait, no, what am I doing? 500 over 34. One train every 14.7 seconds. Considering how quickly trains will pick up the biomass, I don't think that's actually a problem. And then we can do huge storage tanks in the usual fashion. Should just copy paste this. So far, so good. Oops. Let me just copy paste flip this. That should be fine. 
One, two, three, four. Okay. If I put signals here. One, two, three, four. Why does it stick through here? Oh, because this loops around. Train doesn't quite fit if we do that. Yeah, we'll just have to have the right side and the left side as shared sectors. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Because we're not going to be filling 60k contaminated that often. Cool, cool, cool. Also, I could have done it like this, maybe. That's actually pretty smooth. Something to consider next time. Actually, I wonder if... I, I have my doubts. Nope, same problem. Also, that somehow looks wonky. Okay. So far, so good. Question mark. Um. You know what? I should just like place scaffolding everywhere. And then replace it with space once we're done here. That'll be easier than trying to eyeball it. I kind of want to make this look a little less janky. I can live with that, I guess. Okay. So we need Vitalic Acid and... Oh, Regent, rather. Reagent. And Neural Gel over here, I think. Um, it's really going to take up such a small amount of space, this build. Is there anything else we want to do with all this space? NKL, NKL. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And it feels like a waste. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe I could do like a two-by-one build for this. But then we're training purple biomass to make blue biomass, and I don't want to do that. And I don't really see where I could squeeze in another train station. Unless. Hmm. We don't do junk data cards from here, no. Is there anything else we want to do in the rail block? I don't. Comparative genetic data also happens in a genetics facility. We just need to add blank data cards. Oh, that's that's blue stuff. Wait, we're making blue stuff here. What am I saying? Um, how many builds are there for this? Bioelectric. Needs blank and iron stream. Comparative genetic needs blank and bio sludge. Bio sludge we've already got. Cryogenics needs blank and super cold. Hmm. 
Oh no, I think I'm trying to cram too much stuff in here. Maybe comparative genetic. If we also did comparative genetic here... That would mean we do all three of those genetic cards. Oh, except we're importing the uh, genetic data, I forgot. But that's fine. Experimental genetic only goes into this. And broad. And we're importing it already. Comparative genetic goes into broad, uh, sorry, extended catalog and nothing else. So yeah, why don't we make it here? You could run rails down the middle just for aesthetic, so it looks more like, more consistent. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess I could. I don't really think I want to. I don't know. We'll probably end up with tons of space left over anyway. Alright, so how much blue would this consume? 1.7 per second. And each of these can make 4.3. So, what if... What if, what if, what if... We do a line of these. So that the blue goes straight into this. Where applicable. We're just going to do four of these. And then... This needs two types of biomass and blanks. Green and blue and blank. Okay. How fast would this be? Twenty-seven point two comparative genetic data per second, six point eight, six point eight consumed. How much can we make from here? Uh, I think it was 30. 34 biomass per second. That's definitely not a problem. Fly High Kiwi. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then... Uh, let's see. Uh, blue biomass is very net positive from this. This would give us 27 comparative genetic data per second. I think that's probably enough. I dare say that'll be enough. 27.2 blanks per second. Uh, we're not going to be consuming blanks for anything else. So we just have to figure out how the belts and stuff fit around it, right? This building is one of my favorite. I like the uh, endless animation where bottles are coming from top and spiral down. Yeah, I love that as well. I was just talking about that earlier today, actually. Very, very nice. Okay, so whether we do it on the input side or the output side... I'd like all the biomass to be connected like this, uh, and to find its way back to this biomass as well. 
which we'll probably bring in from here. Oh, I keep forgetting I don't have to... I don't have to worry about where the scaffolding is going to go just yet. Uh, so why don't I just make it very clear. This is going to... Did I say biomass? I meant biosludge. Unfortunately, we can't just do that in a straight line. Or like that. That's kind of annoying. This will probably be fine, though. I guess. I think it was not bio sludge, but the pink stuff that we're going to need a ton of. Yeah, 400 bio sludge per second. I don't think we have to worry about the pipe shape. And give me a fiver. I'll we'll probably just bring that over here, since squeezing it through here is looking like a problem. Cool. And yeah, I think I will have that on the outside. And then we can do underground like this. Maybe a 15 or two. And that's just going to connect up there somewhere. This part's very tentative. But the important thing is that the recycled bio sludge is going to find its way back in here uh, quite easily. Maybe we'll do it in the middle, maybe not. Alright. Let's do another drop-off station right about here. Is that actually connected? Nope, it's doing this weird thing again. Don't know why. We had this problem a while ago, and then we stopped having this problem. Will you be able to feed this behemoth fast enough? Yes, I have done the math. No worries. Alright, we're going to need, once again, a drop-off of fluid. Uh, this one is going to be for neural gel. Um, do I want to put it in the... Let's just move it over here. More or less in the middle from this. I kind of want the... I want this to be moved down four tiles, just so just for the sign of uh, somewhat symmetry. And this could go down like so. Is that too much? Maybe. Probably. Oh, we don't need that there. Cool, cool, cool. Should've just done it like this. Um, so we need... a Vitalik Reagent. That's not a pickup station. Is there any other solid we need to drop off here? Yes, blank data cards. What's the overall rate? One belt and a bit more than half a belt. Cool. 
So we'll do like something like this. And something like this, I guess. It's about as tidy as that's going to be. Oh. Yeah, we're not going to have that pipe there. Oh, I also forgot this doesn't need to go here. So how fast are these individually? 10.8 Vitalic Reagent per second. Holy crap. Superior inserter to the rescue. Uh, and that's the only thing we need from the train station. So I guess we can stop that there. We'll do the input belt for experimental biomass on the outside, I think. Kind of like this. How fast is that part of it? Uh, net rate of 5.44 per second. We need swap chests for this, though. We're outputting experimental biomass half the time. Needs to go back in. Can I squeeze it in the middle? Possibly. Best place for a swap chest. Except there's no room here. What about up here? Alright, superior inserter. And superior filter inserter. Only to take out experimental biomass. And then, where are we going to do our output? We could just do a long arm on the outside, I guess. But we're doing the experimental biomass input on the outside. Is it still best to put that here? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. So just going to filter this to reagent. How does reagent search for core fragments? Fragment? Yeah, it must be a soft search for fragment. R-E-A-G. Is that not what you make on spot? Or the other biomasses? Do you have neural gel in the train network? Uh, no, neural gel... Uh, I will have neural gel in the train network if I don't have it already. But neural gel is a little bit different from uh, nutrient gel. Come to think of it... Uh, does this turn into neural gel? Well, I should just search... Neural gel is nutrient gel plus biomass, and out comes biosludge as well. We should a thousand percent be doing this in this block. Cool. Make more use of this space here. Um, I don't think we already did a build for neural gel. I'm kind of hoping we didn't. Cool, cool, cool. So that's one more product we'll get from this double block. Instead of bringing it in by train, we'll export it. Uh, I thought it was made in... I must have misread that. It's made in a genetics facility. Oh no, the research is genetics facility. It's another growth facility. 
Also, advanced neural gel. Maybe we'll make that on the spot as well. But then we need to make bioelectric data. I think we'll do. I think we'll use another block for this. All right. So neural gel. One fluid in, one, f uh, two fluids out. We can recycle the biomass on the spot. Uh, if we had space, I would say the natural place to put this was down here. But we do not have space. How much uh, do we need to keep up with this? Six point eight. Hold on. Six point eight per second. Versus eighty-seven point four. That's kind of rough. 87, let me say. Uh, let's see if we can squeeze in 14 machines. I very much doubt it. We could do 5 per side around the existing beacon. Time for another beacon, I think. Maybe down here. And this one, once again, is going to be a bit of a nightmare with the pipes, more than likely. We should be able to put quite a lot around one beacon, though, just like we did over here. Won't we need even more, um, even more nutrient gel per second in this place if we do it all here, though? That's actually only 108 compared to the 1,000 per second that it would take to support this part, so that's not really much of a consideration. Okay. Maybe I'll bring this down here, just so we can get that gel. No, I don't think we need to. How fast is this? 108 per second for all fluids, and 10.8 per second for biomass. Looks like bigger build than normal, indeed it is. Biomass be light, or sorry, bioscience be light. Um, so we need to. That doesn't reach, does it? Can I copy this layout again, more or less? Well, that one's going to be a problem, isn't it? If we have these close together. Unless I make it wider, like I did here. Which we may as well. So we could do it like that, and uh, just the same as what we did over here. It's going to have to be tilted to one side. Let's get rid of the power pole for now. Or just move everything up a tile. doing the thing again where it thinks we're mixing fluids when we're not. Oh, also that doesn't reach through, does it? I'm sure we could find a way. Make a little exception. Okay. 
looks kind of weird. It's fine. All right. So that's both our output fluids. We obviously still need to do it on the outside, but that'll be easier. Just like we did over here. We still need one input belt. Um, and I think that'll come up this way. How fast are these individually for the biomass? Less than one per second. And... Maybe like that? Atus Lakik. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so tentatively we'll have something like that for input. Uh, we need the biomass. Uh, I could just copy this again. If only for the sake of consistency. Something like that. Plenty of room anyway. Then opposite side, flip it around, grab our inserters, and we don't need any inserters for output. I think we'll do our output for neural gel here. And then we've got more than enough. I said we've got more than enough to support this. Maybe I could turn it around. Maybe the whole thing could be a big counterclockwise rotation. Make it a bit less awkward to uh, connect certain things. I could put a train input around here somewhere. Might look better. In any case, I think I would like this to be about here as we connect our neural gel like so. And then somewhere or other we need these to connect. That's slightly inconvenient. What if I flipped those around? Uh, yeah, that, that should help. That's weird. Oh no, that makes sense. Um, just do it like... whoops. Auto-save. 
input for inside machines? Uh, which ones do you mean? We'll get there. We will get there. I kind of want this to be symmetrical, so we'll flip that around. And this one can go here. Your underground pipe connection is superfluous now? Which one? Oh, true. Cool. And that'll also go down to output station over here. Nice and close to the roundabout. Still doing that thing. Uh, we don't even need uh, bulk rail loaders for this part. Just a huge storage tank. And connect these wherever. We're going to want a lot of this stuff over time, so... Probably go a little bit ham with this. Actually, how about down here? Seems good. Steel pump like so. Oh, um. We should probably have a pump here somewhere, just so that this stuff can't be stolen by this stuff after the train has been scheduled. Center, Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. So that looks kind of needlessly weird. Yeah, I like that better. Definitely. This is such a big build. Okay. Uh, we're going to need output for biomass over this way. And output for tier 2 biomass over this way to come up here. And... You can probably just do the swap chests on the outside. So we'll need more of them, so what? can't put them right next to each other because we don't have a zero tile inserter or loader. So put this one here. Put these here. And splitter. Something like this. Do we need to make sure we don't overfill that? Probably yes. We just need a little bit. We need. We literally only need one experimental biomass in that chest at any time. So. Experimental biomass equals zero. It'll put in like seven because that's how much can fit in this much belt. That's okay. And then same thing over here. 
and here, and here. That way we have room for the output significant biomass. It's going to go straight back in the machine. We could just grab our outputs, uh, our output significant biomass from the chests as well, actually. Instead of making extra belt. It's probably going to be cleaner if we just do it like this, though, I suppose. Alright, so this is SIG Biomass. And that needs to move over. Oh, I paused the game. Whoops. Uh, that needs to move over a few tiles. Or a tile, rather. I, I don't like the asymmetry of that. Alright, so this can now fit here. And we have our, our output. Although, maybe it would be cleaner and easier um, to just do the output in the middle somewhere. Like this. And then just bring it out. Oh, it's also going in here, isn't it? So we should run it past that. Gonna have to move this guy. Oh no. Unless... I think that's slightly off-center. I will have to pretend I can live with it. Alright. One point seven per second. Maybe I should put, like, a container here or something, just to make sure we have a little... pseudo-priority for these, so that we don't have to completely back up significant biomass to get a decent amount of this stuff. No, that's probably fine. Probably fine. So we'll either need blank data cards coming in from the outside, or uh, in the inside here. And the output will have to go in the opposite position. Is this the only thing? I think I asked this question already. The only thing in the block that uses blanks. It is. Okay. What was this belt for? Input for these things? Uh, I am going to have to move this guy. Wait, how fast is the input? Hard to say without power. Pretty slow. Whatever. I'll just chuck in some superiors anyway, because why not? So what was our physical input this way? Uh, Vitalic Reagent. 
which I don't know where I'm going to do the drop-off for. Maybe here. Got just enough room. Why not? This is broken again. There we go. And then like this. Um, and that can just go like so. I'm pretty sure we're only dropping off one physical object up here. So we've got plenty of room in the storage. We don't have to worry about it being imbalanced. Seems good. Seems very good, actually. This is coming together pretty decently. And it it had better for all the trouble that we have to go through. So then we need to output to the train network. Uh, significant biomass. We're already going to do neural gel here. Uh, significant biomass and comparative genetic data. And I think that'll happen up here. So this will be pickup stations. That's in the wrong spot. No, it's not. No, it is not. That one's broken again. Seems to always happen with this block that we're designing. Uh, and that's a lot of area to cover for the belts. Oh, I've got blank data cards. Should we drop those off here? I think we should. If we drop off, like, 1.5 trainloads of each, the maximum could end up in here and it still wouldn't be a problem. And considering the rate of consumption, the blanks, less, uh, just over half a stack per second. Vitalic reagent is a lot faster. I believe that is almost one stack per second. It is. But overall, it shouldn't be too bad. So this is going to be blank. Oh, how about reagent first? 7,500. And blank. 7,000. 500. Oh. Uh, and we'll have to obviously have some filtered outputs for those two. How about this? So this will be reagent. Uh, and this will be blanks. Is it okay if half of it is bottlenecked on 45 per second to end up in here? Probably. We can easily double it. Or quadruple it for that matter. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So blank data cards. Can find their way over here somehow. It's actually a bit awkward. How about we just uh, loop it around? Why not? 
if we do do that. Let's see, 6.8 blanks per second each machine. That's kind of fast. Superior inserters to the rescue. And then... Uh... And then we just need output. So comparative genetic data... Well, this is going to keep going. And we'll do... 6.8 comparative genetic data per second. Only one solid output. And up we go to the drop-off. Um, are we ever going to pick this up with short trains? Probably not. We'll use a splitter. Since we're getting more than half a stack per second, and like three stacks per second if we're not consuming any sig biomass. Cool. E3W, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And loaders. Oops, that, that did not work out as planned. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. We should probably start testing all of this. Uh, so bio sludge. That actually, that part needs to stay at the very least. How are we going to get our bio sludge back to where it belongs? Um, good question. What about a fiver over here? That needs to be onesies. And then way over here. How many tiles is that? Six. Pretty sure bio sludge is slow, right? We don't have to worry about the shape of the pipes very much. I could do another drop off down here for. Yeah, why not? Just do a second drop-off in the same block for, um, nutrient gel. On the opposite side of this gigantic train block. That's definitely going to be a lot easier. For the trains to keep up, that is. Um, so that should probably go there. This still reaches across. That doesn't line up right. Very sad. I guess since the nutrient gel is going to be so fast, we could go for a super fast drop off. Same thing. I was going to say same thing up here, but... Oh, yeah, we should have room for it over here. Uh, 
Uh, unless... Play around with the belts a little bit. Hey, Dara. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Humbled that you picked me for your Prime. Thank you so much. So this side needs to supply a thousand nutrient gel per second. Uh, why don't I also link both sides? Like either drop-off station can supply the entire block with nutrient gel. And I'm sure I should probably put some pumps in somewhere, but we'll get to that. Um, how fast does this side consume it? Pretty slowly. 108.8 per second. Definitely not stressed about how quickly this side consumes. How many tiles is that? Five, six, seven, eight. What about a couple of nines over here? One off. Figures. Hmm. I don't think there's a way to make this all super neat. What about this? Wait, that would mean this side can't... This can't be supplied by this side. Which is probably fine, honestly, because... If this is going full speed, nutrient gel is getting consumed from this end like crazy. I could also have a dedicated nutrient gel drop off over here. That might be a better idea. Or even... Nutrient gel drop off and junk data card pickup. Well, the nutrient gel drop off should be higher priority. And I want it to be a super fast drop off. Because we're consuming a thousand per second. So we could make them separate stations, actually. That's in the wrong place. There we go. And we should have room to squeeze in junk data card pickup quite easily down here, actually. Oh, I could do it from this roundabout. How did I not notice that? Probably because this is not the usual angle that we look at things. Uh, except I can't... Oh, you're joking. I could have just put this here all along. Oh, we should probably have this here now anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Oh! Yeah, that's actually super convenient. It's a little hard to see how these line up, but I'm pretty sure that's right. And then we just do a splitter to make it fitter. About like this. Nah, I've, I've moved away from that look. I don't like it so much.
Okay. So, junk data cards in here. Good thing we don't make any junk data cards on this side. Oh, we actually don't. Cool, cool, cool. This part's rather empty, but overall this is coming together quite nicely. It's actually going to be a task and a half just putting in all our test inputs, but let's get to it, shall we? First of all, nutrient gel. And then... We should probably have some pumps here. We do have some pumps here. That should be fine. Whatever the case, let's do a couple of pipes here. Seven. Perfect. Four. Not perfect. And then we need, what, iron and glass in here. Set filters blacklist. Uh, infinity chest. Shift right, shift left. What mod is this that makes the checkerboard ground? Uh, the mod is called Editor Extensions. And... There's a scenario when you start a new game that lets you have a cheat lab like this. But also, there's a setting... Oh, this needs to move over a bit. Um, but also, there's a setting which we're using now, which lets us uh, do things in an editor space, a, a separate surface from our main game. So I can just press the editor button and we're back back to our normal game. Which is still running in the background while we're designing stuff. Which is kind of nice, because unless you're going for a speedrun or something, uh, you know, we're gaining resources, assuming things aren't breaking. Speaking of which, it's about time we checked... Uh, this ship doesn't appear to be busted. But there's, t there's at least three of them waiting to drop off. Um, yeah, that one's actually waiting because we're full up on Imasite Cave Core Fragments. That's a good reason. Um, this one's not launching because we're full up on Holmanite Core Fragments. Uh, that I'm a little skeptical of. Are we bottlenecked on processing Holmium? Oh, did we fix... Did we finish this build? Why is dirty Holmium water not getting taken away? We've, we got some Holmium powder, though. Provide priority 100. St provide threshold 60. Let me guess. All of the dirty Holmium water that I've done before was processed on site, and I forgot. There's none he there's none anywhere else but here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, this is it right here. So what happens here? We get crushed holmium back. We get beads back. We get water back. And we get stone. Should I just do that on site? Also, we didn't quite finish this build. But we did get some Molten Holmium, so we know it's basically working. Good 
basically cheating? Yes. Boggles, Poldera, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that's a lot of trains waiting, probably because this is busted. Uh, so should, should we just squeeze in... I think the only additional station, if we can manage everything here, would be a stone output station, right? Alternatively, I could just flare the dirty Holmium water. At least for a temporary solution. Um, even if we double this block, this half block, we could have the stone output here. If we flare it, we still have to deal with stone output. So we may as well get crushed holmonite, any and ion beads, and water back. We're not actually using water here, though. So I guess we could flare that. In our old build, because we were doing a bunch of stuff in one place, uh, we sent the water back to make steam to make any and ion build, uh, beads. I guess I could have done the Annie and Ion beads in this half block, but I wanted those to be their own separate thing. Um, how fast is this max speed? 253.4. Let's call it 255 hol uh, dirty holmium water per second. We can't prod these, I believe. But we can speed them. Which I didn't do here. Um, how fast is our bacon? About this fast. I believe it's a filtration plant that we need. Uh, filtered dirty water. I mean water. Okay, if we give it speed modules under the same beacon, can we fit it under the same beacon? I was going to say I don't think so, but we've got some space up here. If we only need one or two, then maybe. Uh, without even moving the beacon, we could get two, even if it looks a little sketch. So what's our rate like? Dirty homium water. We're still net positive. It looks like we would need... Or there's nothing else that produces dirty holmium water, right? Nope. It's only this recipe. So I really should have made room for it here. Maybe I could do it like here? I doubt it. I very... Very much doubt it. Yeah, no. Um, hmm. This is unfortunate. I should probably just do a bunch of them over here. Forget about using this half block for anything else. That's fine. So then we'll have stone and water pick up here, and flare the water if it gets full. And that's pretty easy to do. Let's go do it now. Do you have those new plants for dirty holmium water? Wait, what? Did I miss that? Uh, advanced... Um, oh, that's for making it. For consuming it, uh, for recycling it. 
It's either filtration plant or decontamination facility. I'm pretty sure decontamination facility is only in space. Yeah. Decontamination facility. Cannot build on snow. Fantastic. All right. Uh, do we have? We do. Maybe I didn't even need to travel. We have filtration plants here. But they're even in the train already. Let's go park ourselves over here for a minute. No new tricks for sorting dirtiness? It's modules or tough titties, indeed. Maybe we don't need to, con since we've got this much space, maybe we don't need to consume 10 megawatt constantly to support this. So it was 255, or a little less, 254, 30 holding in water per second. Um, we had, like, just speed modules in these things. We would need six. Eight, if we do one speed, one efficiency. Pretty sure we can fit eight in here. Quite easily, actually. We're going to need a pickup for stone. At least this is working. Add some signals. Actually, I don't think we'll need it very often. That'll be for water. Let's see. I also have to send beads and crushed. Uh, what the heck is going on here? Three hundred thousand. I I may have. I may have accidentally added a digit, uh, added a decimal, or moved the decimal to the right on that request. Is that what all of these trains are? Not that one. Uh, that one's probably fine. That one's beads, but it's empty so far. Lucky. That one's also beads, and it's also empty so far. 20k per train, so 30k is 1.5 train loads. That sounds reasonable. This one is full. We've got three train loads of beads. Nope, four train loads of beads. Almost. That we're trying to unload here. Oh no. How many beads do we get from this? Also, why do we have no speed threes? Probably because the train was overfilled with the bots being weird. Alright. Calculated. Lines up perfectly. The rate should be... Yeah, it's like 255. So it's kind of slow. No stress there. We need 
need some regular pipe. We need some water, like so. And connect on that end. We need a flare stack. I don't think we're going to have it handy. No, we do. How fast can this... Well, I don't know. How fast can eight of these produce water? 224 per second. Uh, it's not that fast, but a flare stack only gets rid of 50 per second. Oh, it can have a speed module. Or an efficiency, for that matter. What's... how much power does it consume? Max consumption, 103 kilowatts. I'm not overly concerned by that. Uh... Go get more stuff. Make sure we have our speed threes here. And we've got a request to put them in the train. We do. We're not trying to overfill the back carriage, are we? That's a lot of pipe that we're never using. 100 steel pipe. Oh, because I didn't realize it stacks to uh, only 50. Cool. Oh. And that's done. Don't care that there's extra pipe in there right now, or do I? I won't wait for another hundred swings for it to get rid of that. Okay. Was that not like this because the flare stack outputs stone? Oh, no, it was the bees, wasn't it? Understandable. I could either make a huge temporary storage for the beads, or... No, that's probably all I can do. Um... Alright, I think what we're going to do here is... What's our max rate? Really, really slow. We don't need to even think about it. Splitter. Stone. Uh, put the water thing down here, actually. We can put this literally anywhere. And then, as for stone... This will be a high priority pickup. And if water. I'm sure water will get picked up before we flare it, but just in case, we'll leave one of these here. That looks really weird, actually. Put a pump. If water greater than 190,000, flare it. 
make necklaces and sell them on eBay? Wait, what? Uh... Okay, how fast do we get this random crap back? 0.28 per second? Um, and apparently this net consumes beads? What? Oh, you have to put beads into it to... to consume the dirty holmium. I didn't notice. But we've got a half belt for beads here. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Um... I want to steal just beads from here, but not leave any crap on the belt. I could turn it into a loop or something. Perhaps. And then just... Is it slow enough that we could just shove it back into that box? Or we could send it back to the big containers. I should really fly over there and do something about the... the bead trains. We only need, like, a number of chests, like maybe six or seven or eight chests to temporarily solve this. Where am I going? There we go. Oh wow. How much room is left in here? A bit. Um, so I'm going to use filter inserters to take only stone, put it on this belt, or I could have used loaders I guess. Everything else... back onto the loop. I could merge it back in here with priority. And if this net consumes, that shouldn't be a problem, right? Okay, sure. So, we go input priority left, input, 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 I could filter blacklist, um, but instead I'll make it clear what this is doing, beads and crushed. And then connect this here. And maybe... Oh, wow. That actually works. Because we're splitting this, we've got half a belt here. So when these merge back into half a belt, there's exactly enough space. Well, now there's not. Because this is using both sides. Okay. Uh, one of these. 
one of these, and one of these. Seems good. One dot in, one dot out. And this thing that consumes all the solids. Oh, no, it's positive on crushed holmanite. But it produces less crushed holmanite. No, it produces more. This is... But for number of items, uh, these two are net positive. So that doesn't actually work out as well as I hoped. Um... Hmm. That's actually kind of a problem. It's not going to help enough if I just slow this down a bit, is it? Pretty sure the answer is no, especially with input priority on this. No, that doesn't doesn't make a difference, does it? Uh, I think this is very slowly draining, actually. This is arguably not the best way we could go about this. What if we just dump it back into big container? doesn't get blocked. Uh, you're looking a bit imbalanced. Can the train leave now? No. Looks like it's not outputting stone at the moment, so it won't consume. Not outputting stone. It is outputting stone. Just very slowly. Oh, and before I forget... Alright, that's not gonna oversupply. Did we get it? I was gonna say, did we get rid of all of our bead trains yet? Apparently not. If I do an accidental spill... There's going to be beads to, like, the four corners of the planet. Okay, is that finally the last train that's... Nope. Okay, that's actually crushed. That's fine. Doesn't crushed come from up here? It does. We could save some train trips. There isn't really room here, though. Not to do it the way I usually do. Oh, that is very full. Um, um, at least this is working. This is a nice break from bioscience, to be honest. Just, just give me all of this and let me shift C it. No, 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 no. Can we turn this off for a bit? Actually, we probably need the Holmanite, crushed Holmanite, to keep flowing so we can consume these beads. Oh dear. And I need to do something about all of these. Um, if I do them a couple of tiles apart... Oh, 
how, why don't I just use inserters? That makes more sense. Alright. Uh, and then... Superior long arm. Just check this container. If speed's less than what? If we're asking for a train load and a half, and pretend these are balanced, uh, that's 15k, right? If speed is less than 15,000, put beads into this container. The Cosburger, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That would be cool. Slight insult. You look a bit imbalanced, indeed. I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, this is looking functional now. The only question is uh, whether the trains are eventually going to be imbalanced. But I'm not overly concerned by that. Let's make sure our bots can get back in. Seems good. Back you go. Now they're jumping out. Bruh. Wait for inactivity. 60 seconds. Okay. So this should be called... Stone... Apparently I have stations just with this default name still. Uh, stone and water. Active provider. Fantastic. Long trains only. High priority. Regular threshold. Shift C. Get that stuff out of my face. And hopefully that'll work from now on. All of this because I said, oh, it seems like whole meme is backed up actually, and I can hardly believe that. Um. Which it might be. I mean, it, it'll take a while for this to back up. 102 Holmium powder per second. Oh, this is a different drop off on this side. That makes sense. That makes sense. And we have actually made it on this side before. Cool, cool, cool. Need a bunch more speed modules. I've got 44. And is that it? It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Nice. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, I never actually got around to checking are any of these spaceships, like, bugged, like we've seen before. I wish I could sort by location. Number 12 looks good. Uh, anyone that's landed there is probably fine. Iron Hall is 16. Oh, there we go. Uh, number four. Looks good. Number five looks good. We've got an awful lot of ships that went for Immersite Cave Core Fragments at the same time, though. Hey, it's heading for Moss Garden. 
Yeah. But that's way too many ships that went for Immersite Cave Core Fragments at the same time. This one is still called Spear, which means it hasn't gone anywhere yet. Uh, we are up to Ion Hauler 17. Cool, cool, cool. And it's got its destination this time for Hagen Orbit. So when I press launch, it should be waiting for its chance to land back at ID 14, which I think is barrel because barrel is often vacant yeah right should land here like immediately or alternatively it could not do that it doesn't have a destination even though i put it on the memory cell oh i guess wait what no, the memory cell doesn't send it through to the console until distance signal is negative one, and there's no... And this distance signal is negative three. I don't know if I could generalize it. No, I think it has to be negative one. Okay, so this part will just have to be... Uh, what's the word? I mean, I could always send on the green signal. That, that might work, actually. I was going to say this part will always have to be manual. What What are you doing? No, don't go to Hagen. Go to Hagen Orbit, please. There we go. Why was it going to Hagen? So I think instead of on the red wire, this part needs to output on the green wire and that's all there is to it moon orbit 1180 that's correct Rem remember being short on stone yes i do <laughs> strange times this thing takes a while to saturate It's probably fine. I mean, I did calculate. Uh, 51 holmium powder per second is in fact less than 90 per second. Okay, back to... What is that? X-ray vision. Oh, that's tree x-ray. We've got so few trees, we've got like no trees on Hagen, so I haven't had to use that in forever. Alright, let's jump back into the editor. Here comes our Molten Holmium. Delicious. What's our rate for half a block? 11.5 ingots per second. That's actually huge. That is... That is actually really, really fast for ingots. Oh. Now then, now that that's all sorted out, we were trying to test our mostly finished build. That was the idea, anyway. 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's do a couple of nines. Fantastic. Alright, so we've got what for inputs? Uh, we're still cheating these two. I won't bother changing that just yet. Actually, I probably should. Um, we need... Everything but nutrient bats. To go in up here. Uh, 
That filters blacklist. Oh, and this is actually supposed to be iron. So we'll do the same thing over here. Biomass saturated already. Fantastic. That's obviously not going to work. Give me some 15. Give me some uh, pump booze this way, actually. Oh, and I haven't... Oh, there's no... There's no crap output here. The contaminated cosmic water and bio sludge. We need to connect those. Those are actually full. Um, how about... Contaminated cosmic? On this end? Actually make that one a seven and that can be a five. And then this actually reaches. Uh fifteen plus three is two nines. It's doing the weird thing where it thinks we're mixing fluids. And then we just need the contaminated cosmic on this side to find its way in. I also need this bio sludge to find its way up here. Well, that one's going to be easy enough. Cut that off. And then maybe... I could either bring it down this way. That's looking messy. Or... I could bring it up like this. Do something similar to what we did over here. Perfect. And of course, that could be there. And that'll find its way back up here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thinks all of these are in the same fluid network. But at least we can see that those are connected. Um, this can also connect like so, uh, if we're going to connect it up this way, which we're probably not, actually. So, put that back, and then, oh, the middle. The middle, the middle, the middle. Uh, this one's going to be fine. This one... Less so? I could probably get this through here and do something or other. And so, connect these up here. No. Uh-oh. Pipe vision might help. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it thinks it's all... It thinks it's all one pipe network, so... Not really. 
Garter Gnome, thank you very much Frog for this. Champ. Frog Champ indeed. Thank you very much for the seven months. Much appreciated. Looks cool at least, indeed. It's a very cool mod. Uh, I don't see anywhere I could make those connect. Oh, if this one connects here, that doesn't help us in any way. Good talk. We could do some underground belts here and sneak this up somewhere. Probably some underground belts here. Yeah, it's, uh... What? It's getting a little untidy. It doesn't even... Yes, it does. That'll help. No, bad. That actually does cross contaminate. Oh my goodness. Send help. Alright, we got there eventually. Oh my holy mess. I think we just put something on that belt we weren't supposed to. Alright, we got there eventually. Uh, and then this just needs to connect down here. That should be fairly straightforward. Nope, not even. Uh, what if we made this a 7? That should be fine. That was harder than I thought it would be. Uh, nine tiles over here, and corner. We did it. Alright, so the middle and the left side are connected. And the right side uh, should be pretty straightforward, at least. Won't let you mix the same fluid. Got no problem when you actually mix fluid. <laughs> One job. Indeed. Oh my. Alright. I believe that is all of our contaminated cosmic water output connected. Uh, now, contaminated bio sludge is obviously going to go this way. That part's going to be the most straightforward. Oops. That should be a five. And add a 3B down here somewhere, just for the look of it. And then... I suppose that can just go over here. Easy peasy. And this one... Same kind of deal. Uh, what am I doing? Can I copy this layout just to be consistent? Uh, 
All right, I think that's all of it. Judging by the fact that all these machines are moving. Those ones are anyway. Seems okay. Let's void all of our product so that we can confirm. That's a lot of random crap I've got. Probably shouldn't have got rid of the pipes though. Um, yeah, I can prob I can probably clean up my cheat inventory a little bit, or entirely. That you know what? That's that feels better. We'll just go through the the mental trouble of finding an item from scratch instead of having this inventory to worry about. Okay, so every single machine is moving. And we know it was backed up before, so we're pretty sure all of the junk output fluids are connected properly. Fantastic. This thing here doesn't go anywhere. Let's put it there. And then what about over here? We need nutrient gel uh, and we need biomass. We've got the biomass, I just didn't see it. This one doesn't have... Oh no, we need belts in the middle. I don't think that's going to be that big of a problem. Although I might have to move this splitter down a little bit. Um... Yeah, it's probably going to be a lot easier that way. Should have moved it down one more tile. Does this work? Nope. God damn it. Oh, come on. Alright. What is this pipe? Oh, that's supposed to be... a uh, neural gel, our output. Supposed to be. Alright, so now we can do underground belts, like so. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter the shape of the belt. Nah. We could, like, sneak it all the way over here, go down this way, then go back up this way. We so desire. Uh, I think I'll just. Oh no, there's no way to input with this. I think we can fix it. Uh, I th think we can. I th think we can. That's um, a small article of faith. Is that? Oh, this is bio sludge. Okay. So, if that goes there. Wait, how was this before? Oh, it needs underground, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just bring it here. 
It looks a little odd, but it works. Alright. Let's just put stuff in at the earliest opportunity. Which is up here, incidentally. And... Like this. Does that work? Pretty sure we don't need these. And yeah, that seems to work. Now we just need the neural gel. Maybe I should, if I'm going to pump from here to here, then maybe I should put like uh, an extra storage over this way. And there's no room for that. Uh, a smaller one then. Pump into the, pump into that as well. with equal priority. It's not like I can put a limit on this. This will have to be 50k. Uh, it's probably fine. I think I misclicked. There we go. And there's our... No nutrient gel on this side. Fantastic. What? What? Did I line that up wrong? Yes. All right. How about a fifteen? -er? That's a nine. And we can put that about here. How many tiles is this? Uh, I would say it's probably about nine. And oh no. Fantastic. Looking good. Alright, now what are we missing here? Vitalic reagent. Which I'm going to shove in here. But I think we were supposed to have two products here. Blank cards as well. So once more with feeling, check one container, set filters blacklist, put both of those items in there, A reagent, actually is that going to work, I don't, no it's like super prioritizing the blanks with this one, that's something I didn't really think of. So this fix is not just throughput, but now you're doing reagent? Uh, arbitrary noises. It's fine. Anyway, I should have put this up here anyway for testing. Okay, there's our reagent, there's our significant biomass, and there it is, heading to the output. We just need regular biomass to find its way up here, which we could take from here or here or here. 
we don't need another giant belt for that. Very nice. This is something I might not have realized if I didn't do these test inputs sooner. And I guess... Like that. And like something like this. Cool. Our fire sludge is getting a bit full because we're doing a hundred percent here. Uh you know what? Let's just disconnect it for now. Our net rate for bio sludge is gonna be like Five per second or something. Closer than... Okay, that was supposed to be an exaggeration, but we're actually only net consuming 32.64 per second if everything in the block is working. Um, consuming 408... Yeah, all of this is positive on biosludge. This side consumes 408 per second, and this this side produces 375.36. That is a lot closer to zero than I would have expected. Products finished, 136. Oh, this is kind of slow. Like, the recipe, 20 seconds. Fair enough. And this is rather fast. We're struggling to... Because we're pumping the neural gel here. Yeah, we're not doing this at full speed because we're pumping the neural gel into the station. Maybe instead of this, what I'll do is just set the provide threshold to like 70,000. So currently our long trains will take 60,000. I mean, not currently, that's how it's going to be for the rest of the playthrough. Uh, our long trains will take 60k. And this consumes 87 per second. So it would take uh, a long time. 10,000 over 87.040. It would actually only take less than two minutes. To go from 70k down to less than 60k, uh, if this is consuming at full speed, and the train doesn't get here to pick up at 60k, and our input for making more of this is gone. Um, but that's probably enough of a buffer, I think. Especially considering how fast our trains are. So this is neural gel. Oh, I can just click here. Provider. There's a lot fewer fluids than solids in this game. And that station is done. We should probably put some signals here. Uh, this, of course, is nutrient gel requester. Let's aim for at least 200k. 
Probably more, honestly. Why don't we go for like 500,000 here? Because even if we're not doing this all the time, it's going to be very, very bursty at a thousand, over a thousand per second that this block can consume. So we're buffering up like 500 seconds worth. We'll do the exact same thing over here. Forgot to give the station name. Uh, nutrient gel requester. You know, if I did my usual... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? My usual naming convention for the... You know, not just what we're requesting, but what kind of machine it's going into and what is coming out. That's kind of complicated when we have a block like this. I think I'll just skip it this time. Alright, so this is the old junk data card pickup. We have seen many before. We will see many more. Uh, we need to do... Hmm. We need to do Vitam Orange Spice and... Could I just push this to one side? No, I don't think so. Probably... Probably copy what I did at another station. Oh, then that was temporary. I got rid of it. Okay, I'll just do it again. Auto save. Something like this. Maybe if I do it like this, we could make it a little bit neater. Kind of. Oh. Yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. Alright, so we're looking for spice and genetic data. Spice, genetic, Datur. That's, that's not right. These two should be spice. Okay. Also, let's get rid of this. We're going to need some... Input control over here. This one's iron, right? Uh, what are we looking for? 200, uh, 100 stacks each? Make it 125. Iron plate, less than 12500. Glass, less than double that. Uh, 25k. Seems good. And then if we add iron plate over here. We sh should get a reasonable test set up. And just to clarify, we're gonna s we're gonna be asking for 1.5 train loads of each resource. We can fit that with a little bit of slack with two train loads of stuff over here, and we can fit uh, one and a quarter train loads of something here. 
So 25 stacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There should be there should be a little bit of room left over. We hope. Hope springs eternal. Alright, let's once more set filters blacklist. Uh we need glass plus most of the things that go into this. But not that. Looking good. And then... And then we can get rid of this. Nice. Uh, I guess technically... Instead of putting that into a chest, we could just... What? There we go. That makes it a bit clear, this this swap chest is just here for genetic data. That doesn't look right. Probably would have blocked the train. There's plenty of room for this. That's totally fine. Plenty of room indeed. We don't need whatever this is anymore. Uh, we definitely did that input. We dealt with those two outputs. We dealt with those two inputs and these ones. And all of these. Oh, uh, probably need to actually connect this, huh? Might need to push this up a little bit. So that we can have a couple of loaders. Um, push it up even more, actually. So that we can do it like this. Let's do glass on the left, just because it's coming from the left here. And then... There we go. Do we have any more cheat inputs that are not just simulating trains dropping stuff off? Not better to just use two chests? Uh, what do you mean by that? Over here? We, we need a two by two chest so that we can output to it and then grab from it. That's all. This was definitely a lot more of a pain with without containers larger than one by one. You know what, I kind of want to... do it like that. No, that's kind of weird. Now, why aren't these outputting junk? 
because, because our desired product is full. Um, that's a pretty good reason. I think I'm okay with that. Just the cleanup for this build is a project unto itself. Alright, we know we can't fit these signals here, that's okay. I haven't done the configuration here yet. Well, yes I have, I just haven't named the stations. Uh, where are we going? Provider of... Specimen 2. Provider of... Specimen 1. Active provider of... Don't tell me this isn't going to reach. This is an unusual way to do that. Oh, I see. That makes sense, actually. I kind of want to bring it in a little bit. Uh, anyway, I could just piggyback it off of the pump, uh, and enable disable is... Yes. This is fine. I don't think we have a way to fit more pumps, do we? Not unless I brought this back and then put this here, an extra pipe, I, I don't care enough. Okay. So we've named these, we've set them up. Uh, I haven't named this one. Contaminated bio sludge. Contaminated cosmic. These two, I believe, are good to go. Don't need fluid for that one. Don't need high priority for these two either. Wait. This one doesn't have a combinator. That one actually belongs to this one. So these two should have the same settings. And these two should have the same settings. Fantastic. And then... Um, output... what's that called? Ostvol. Faringin. Uh, we just need to output station names for these two. Uh, specimen 3, provider. Stack size 100. Or 100 stacks, rather. And this is funky swirly data. Provider. Comparative genetic. Yeah, that's right. It's actually pretty tidy, considering the alternatives. Alright, station names. I don't think the drop off is done yet. This one, it's the only one remaining. Uh, so this is Vitalik Reagent and Blank Data Card Requester. And I think we're about ready. Right. 
right, so now we need to add a bunch of scaffolding behind all of this. The easy way to do this is to go to Tiles, Type Space, we'll get Space Platform Scaffold, Brush Size, yes, and just fill this whole area. And then we'll grab empty space, run it over the exact same spot, whoops, close enough, uh, and you'll note that the scaffolding that we actually need is still there. And just because we don't want it to look super tacky, we can... Oh, first of all, I want to remove any cheat inputs. So, infinity chest, superior inserter, infinity pipe, be gone. And then we'll do space again, just to be sure. Uh, you'll note that it doesn't remove the scaffolding. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that's fine, as far as the blueprint is concerned. Uh, it doesn't remove the scaffolding behind the substation pylons, even though they don't need scaffolding. Alright, that seems fine. Except for this part. Get out of here. Now then. Space platform scaffold. And I just want to tidy up some of this stuff. Uh, I think it may have removed... Let's see. I can blueprint that. No? I've seen gaps behind where the bulk rail loaders are sometimes. Whatever the case, I'm going to run a bunch of space platform scaffold over these. Um, just to make it look a little bit less tacky. Speaking of tacky... We could probably move this up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I can ignore that. That's probably fine. Scaffolding, go burr. Do you need a wire on the bio sludge tank? Yes, I do. Thank you. Zetis? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, you know what? That would look better with just a bit of a solid block. Alright. Don't need any of that direct insert stuff on this side. That looks kind of sketch. Oops. Been a long road to getting this build finished. But here it is. And this isn't even everything we need to get bio one or two. This is just 
some stuff, some intermediate products for bioscience. Although it, it does include some of those for bio 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Make sure the scaffolding behind all of these. Tidy this up a bit. That seems fine. You know what? Just just bring this out to here. And then all of this. One thing at a time. Beacon sickness? Sure. Stop flashing at me. Oh, this is from when we were designing this stuff. What? No, stop. Why, why are you like this? Whatever, it stopped flashing. back to what we were doing, and I'm thinking this can go up here, it can probably stay where it is, nah, let's do it like this. And then just a little more over here. And maybe a little something like this. I think that's our build. Is it not magnificent? Let's build this thing. Uh, cheat item is here. We can ignore that. Okay, blueprint time. What should we call this blueprint? Specimens. It's not all that we're doing here, but... Uh... I can never remember the actual name for these now. Biomass? Tiles, train stop names, snap to grid. Our usual will work. And it's time to build this monstrosity. A lot of empty space up here, but I'm not about to try and cram even more stuff here. I mean, we absolutely could. We've got, like, two or more train stations of input-output we could do here. But I just really don't want to, like, have to think about trying to cram more stuff into this. Alright. That doesn't go there. What? Where are we going? No, bad. No, stop it here, and here, and here, and down here. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna have to decon some of this. I think that's all I'm gonna have to decon? No. I'm gonna have to decon some of this. Uh, probably not that. And then we place our blueprint like so, I think. 
That looks right. It's so big. No. No, 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 no. Good thing there's an undo button. Only. Only. This is where it goes. Okay. This looks like a job for the scaffolding train. Naturally. What are you doing? Go get yourself cleaned up first. And then once you've done that, park yourself over here. And what? Oh. God damn it. Once you've done that, park yourself over here, wait for inactivity. 60 seconds. And then we'll see if we need another lap to get this done. So it's going to be bio mass, biomass 2, biomass 3, uh, neural gel, pickup is here. And fancy data, experimental genetic data over here. And I think that's all of the pickup stations, right? What, well, probably? We'll soon find out. Where's our train? Not here. Is it doing okay? Actually, yes. Yes, it is. So we're bringing 9,000 space platform scaffold. We need 13,000. Holy crap. That's even more than we brought. Also, do we have the reach? Not quite. Uh, this thing's also carrying rail. We'll have it go over here as well. And... Up here. And hopefully it won't get stuck. Because we brought copious rail, right? Possibly. Maybe I should go carry... F I'm carrying a lot of stuff right now. How much scaffolding does our construction train carry? I think only a few hundred. 134? That's oddly specific. We're looking for 150. We've got 134. Is there more in another... Yeah, there is. Okay. It's a bit imbalanced. Um, but it does carry rail. So we'll do what we can there. I forgot how inefficient bots are at placing lots and lots of scaffold. We're going to take a little while. It's going to be like several minutes at least until we're ready to place our blueprint properly. Also, I need to remove some of this unnecessary... Uh, rail over here. I'll do that myself, because the bots will pick it up and 
try and return to the construction train or what is that? Random constant combinator. Uh, the bots will probably return to their train at the carriage where they can't fit anything in and then get stuck. Here we go. Um, I guess I could go bring a bunch of scaff. I was already talking about this. There's a reason I'm not going down. Okay. Be very, very careful of the trains. Fantastic. Definitely don't need this. Actually, we do, but it's going to be moved down slightly so that it doesn't conflict with a piece of pipe. You can probably move on. Oh, you're out of scaffolding, aren't you? Well, you can place some rail, I guess. Actually, give me some space rail. I'll do this part up here. Fantastic. And I have 33 rail left. I think I'm about to run out. No? Estimated that very well. Fantastic. Are you done? Pretty much. Alright, so we now have like 4k scaffolding left to place. That's item on ground. 6,000? Holy crap. Never mind. Uh, I did check all of our spaceships a while ago. They seemed to be doing alright. So we still don't know what could have caused that uh, that rare bug where they end up relaunching into space with a little bit of core fragments left over and not a proper destination. Oh, I suppose if we look at a ship that's in orbit around Hagen uh, hovering like that and we see asteroids here, we can probably assume that it didn't launch that way, right? Because it won't spawn the asteroids until it's trying to move forward. Never thought of that. Well, I guess I just did. Scaffolding train... is good to go. Pretty much. I mean, I'm sure it already has enough scaffolding to get the job done. There we go. Clap, 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 clap. That was... F wait. Why did we just have four ships... Did it just happen? Why did we just have four ships taking off and or landing that quickly? Uh, judging by these two, it was literally just because... Do you have the same destination? What, what's what's your destination? Verb T orbit. 
if they both turn right here, it's almost definitely... Uh, 13 is heading for verb T, and... 11 is heading for verb T. I have a feeling our dispatch system is double sending ships like every single time assuming that we have two ships ready to launch how could i avoid that why is it doing it so presumably hmm So normally we'd hold on to... Hey, there isn't even an outpost waiting. Oh, now there is. Uh, that's actually a pretty good sign, though. That we're keeping up. That there's ever, like, a few seconds here where there isn't something in the memory cell means that there isn't a single outpost requesting, uh, requesting a ship right now. Which means we have enough ships to bottleneck on something else. But yeah, um, the first outpost we get info from, we hold onto this until we uh, hear that there's a ship ready, and then we send the info through to that one, and that one only, with the anything signal. Because we only pick one of these signals. And if it's, say, the one that's at the drop-off for Vidamelange, we pass the information through to that dispatch. And then at the Vidamelange drop-off, well, it's about to happen here. At the drop-off for uh, Iridite Core Fragments, once we have a ship-ready signal, there it is. We receive this information. Destination, space elevator cables, etc. I really don't understand how it's sending two ships at once. To a single destination. But it is working. And what more could you ask for? Good enough is perfect, as they say. Shut up, yes they do. Wait for inactivity, let's say 30 seconds. And then down here. Oh, hey, it's already here. Let me give it a hand, because I want... Uh, I want to be able to place the blueprint. And get it to drop off the flat solar panels, at the very least. Because I don't think I have the construction... Uh, the regular construction brain carrying those. This looks very weird. This is really putting into perspective how monumental this uh, block is. Give me some more. I should really just place that manually. The part that's easy to get right. Reduce the load for the bots. 
you can move now, I think. I could probably set it to 15 seconds of inactivity and we could probably rely on the bots to move. Probably. Almost done. And let's place our blueprint once more. Although it's bigger than as much as I can zoom out, except in the editor space. Also, UPS drops to 24 <laughs> while we're hovering with the blueprint. I'll wait till it gets that last bit of scaffolding done. Is that it? I need to make sure we can see all of this, otherwise it probably won't place the blueprint properly. That's why I'm panning over it with the navsat. And... that's it. I think. Let's make sure the... Just make sure the train with the flat solar panel 2s does a lap around the whole place. And let's grab our construction train. Actually, there's going to be plenty of stuff here, if not all of it actually, which uh, isn't in the construction train. As far as the buildings themselves go, the assemblers and such, or there's no actual assemblers here, but things that assemble things. I think there's more than enough belt here that we're going to need two trips, actually. So we'll schedule that. And I know for a fact I don't have um, growth facilities lying around. Definitely not in the mall. We need 48 of the bloody things. Actually, I could be wrong. Nope. Alright. Yeah, I kind of want a separate combinator for these. Ayaku. Mach schnell bitte. Raus, raus. Why do we have no construction bots? We have 320 construction bots. They're taking their sweet time building this because there's a bunch of ghosts elsewhere. Mm. Alright, growth facility. I just realized we need the vats for this. That's why I didn't automate it here. It'll be easier to slap it together in the spaghetti build. What's your playtime? Yes. Yes, indeed. Gaga Heim. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, here we can make growth facilities, actually. I love your German accent. <laughs> Danke schon, darling. Shmua, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Willkommen. 
Is that right? Willkommen? Willkommen, Willkommen? It is fantastic. Subarashi. Whoops, caps indeed. Beware of falling caps. Didn't we need 48 of these and they stack to one? Holy crap. We're also going to need an awful lot of glass, I suppose. Bots should keep that sorted. We, we should have done a bigger request a chest for this because because one superior inserter is a massive massive bottleneck to build this did you learn it for fun uh a bit of both we learned i learned some german in primary school the last word I remember learning there was Das Bucheregal. We learned a bit of Japanese in high school. Uh, and I tried to learn a bit of French as well, but French is bad. You heard it here first. Uh, but yeah, insofar as I learn languages these days, it is just for fun. Um, it is a long, slow process, though. Like, you know, I, I tried learning a bit here and there, uh, in the past, but to, to actually commit to trying to learn more, um, after doing it for maybe a month or two, and that's when you really start to realize just how monumental a task learning another language is. It's obviously because he is a huge Ramstein fan. Uh huh. How many of these do we have now? Oh, a few more than expected, at least. Uh, what does it take? Two stacks of lamps to make one... Uh, should probably make more room in my inventory in that case. Two stacks of lamps to make room for a single... Or to make a single growth facility, rather. I've actually got a big one right here. Let's just swap that over. And... Decon that. No, 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 no. Don't steal it. Bad train. Look at these guys taking turns. All right, what are we missing? Glass. Fantastic. That actually triggered another train delivery of glass. We have to fill this chest with growth facilities in order to... to build this block. And then we need... Uh, let's see... 15 genetics facilities? Grab some more lamps, which no doubt we've been churning out over here. Uh, I don't know where they are anymore because I took them all. Apparently we don't have copper cable. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> we ate all our copper cable. That I'm not going to put in the rail network. It's a little tiny waste of copper, not having the prod modules, but I'm not going to do copper cables in the trains um, just for that. We'd have to pay space elevator cables to move them anyway. 
Um, but yeah, where are they taking these lamps? Uh, it's honestly... Oh, here it is. I kept thinking I saw them go diagonal this way, but then they sort of disappeared somewhere. That's a couple of lamps. I should just request lamps. That would probably be easier. Alright, we need another, like, entire chest of lamps. Oh. Um, how about another bacon? If we can squeeze one in somewhere. That's a little bit faster. Holy bananas. I'm quite pleased that we're still maintaining almost 60 UPS. Although I know a significant chunk of our base, chunks of our base, are relatively idle for now. But we've got um, 17 of the slowest, smallest hauler ships now. They're going to be more UPS efficient when we've got the bigger ones that go faster. WTF is that speed? <laughs> Ludicrous speed go? Absolutation? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I feel like German can be a pain in the ass to learn, even if you're familiar with related languages like Dutch or so. Indeed. Uh, I learned little enough German way back when um, that I thought it was kind of like English, but with different words, right? Like, same rules and everything, just substitute. Uh, it's not quite that easy. Oh, this doesn't reach? Um, we probably don't need this anymore, do we? Oh, we probably do, actually. What if I move... this down... and then... nothing? Fantastic. Uh... How about this? And then that one's gonna be beacon sickness. I need to move it two tiles over. Are we good now? And almost tastic. I'm not overly concerned about MSI rifle ammo right now. For me, learning German is like learning Latin. So big nope. Indeed. Picker Dollies is indeed the mod that moves things around. Larry Lol, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The letters at least mean the same. Oh yeah, learning different characters is a whole other thing. Especially when a language has characters that are much more complicated than you're used to. Grammar is a tad different, indeed. Every language is like English with different words. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, English is almost French levels of not phonetic. Um, there's also different, like, structure. What's the word I'm looking for? A linguist. No, 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 not linguist. Well, amateur linguist. Language nerds will tell you a lot more than I can about it. But there's, like, whole different rule sets. Um, different ways to structure sentences. There's a lot that we take for granted if we only if we only learn one language that uh, is not inevitable. Need more lamps. 
give me every single lap. Grammar is whack? Indeed. That reminds me, uh, I saw a... Someone... Someone did a rap battle with chat G... Chat GTP. Suffice to say, the bot won. Why all the blank data cards in your mall? I don't know. Uh, we've only got 4.7k, so I don't think they... F hmm. That's a good question. Oh, they probably came from the old mall. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was removing everything that was in the old mall. No, that doesn't... that's not right. I actually don't know how those blank cards got there. Hmm. I do have a system in place whereby if we end up with 150 stacks of something uh, in the robot network here, it's offered to LTN. So if something like that gets out of hand, it will sort itself out if the rail network can consume it. Now we need pumps. Okay. Pumps it is. Where, where are my pumps? I thought it would be easier to, um, slap this together. Wait. I thought growth facilities needed the the pink vats. That's why I didn't have the mole automatically make them. We could have done this so easily. Oh no. I suppose it's never too late to do it right. We only need 12 more of these now though. Growth facility. Assuming that the auto mall gets around to it anytime soon. Why do we have no concrete? Is it because we're not requesting concrete? No? Is it because we're actually out of concrete? Uh, it might be. What are we missing here? Stone brick? Something's busted. Huh? Oh, this was designed to balance it. So we've got stone brick on this side. This needs sand. Uh, so we've got sand on this side and stone brick on this side, and the things designed to balance them have failed us. Um, yeah, I might have to rethink that one. So this, confusing as it looks, is the same as when we have a uh, balanced loader, except instead of inserters, we've got loaders taking from two different uh, bulk rail unloaders. I'm still at the beginning of the road, but I know how to ask for milk. Fantastic. Which one also makes no sense because um. Umfaren is not the same as umfaren. One is a good thing and one is a bad thing. That sounds very English-like. Okay. So we're making concrete again and we're doing it very quickly. Uh... I did only request slightly more than... 
one train load of any one thing here. What if we just don't try to balance it? And let it get to zero for any one of these solid inputs. Before we summon another train, and we'll just tolerate a gap in production. It's only concrete, after all. Don't get started on the random matching of da de das Oh yeah, uh... I don't know if this is the same thing, but that reminds me. German is... Like... You can just see it in, in the way the language works, like... The most... Okay, it, it's not like I'm a language connoisseur. But it is a very patriarchal language. So much arbitra uh, arbitrary gender stuff. Doesn't it have like... Am I thinking of another language? Or doesn't it have like different objects uh, like referred to as male or female? Just like French? Why does that not surprise me? Just like Spanish? <laughs> Indeed. Uh, I haven't tried it for myself, but I've heard Spanish is, like, the easiest language for an English speaker to learn. Like, literally just watch Spanish TV, and you'll you'll pick it up. Can anyone confirm or object to that? The UK... English is very flexible in terms of sentence construction, this is true. But a nightmare phonetically, indeed. Even worse is the dependence on emphasis of stressing particular syllables. A kitchen is fe- oh no. Oh no. Okay, where were we? Uh, we've got 30 growth facilities. Did we get any made over here? Uh, I believe we did. Judging by the glass flowing into this right now. So, by now there's probably... There's five, because we have to jam so much stuff into a machine to make just one. Um, but suffice to say... Uh, we could probably... Take these over. And by the time we fly back, it should be almost finished making the rest of them. Uh, and we need to make a bunch of genetic facilities. Like, 8 plus 6 plus 1, 15. Probably all the genetic facilities we'll ever need. Math is the only real language, all else are poor in comparison. Wow. Blue Lightning, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Polish has some odd cases where the noun changes based on the context. Have fun with that while translating our user interface. Indeed. One of the things I enjoy most about learning... Uh, other languages is when you run into words that don't translate directly. It's basically like learning a new word, and I kind of wish I could just port it into English, but, you know, people look at you funny. Um, like, if you plug a word into Google Translate and, like, 12 different things it gets translated as, if it's being translated into English, come back. I enjoy those words. In these days, shouldn't we ask inanimate objects which pronouns they would... No. Think about what you've done. I'm a native Polish speaker, and I'm just not able to find an example of that. Polish has some odd case... Oh, I just said that out loud. Yep. 
What were we looking for? Um, growth facilities? Oh, but by the time those are made... Yeah, we, we should... Something I do actually have to... Well, I don't strictly have to, but it's much easier if I throw this together manually. Semi-manually. Uh, I need some 15 genetic facilities. Which means 4 times 15 stacks of nutrient vats. Dear god. Uh, we have a bunch of those in here. Wait, I can't handcraft it though, can I? No, it has to go in here. Genetic facility. Clean up on aisle me. And I guess we're stealing that back into the, uh, the big old train. I do have a system to shove it back in here, at least. Uh, take these back. Did we not have... We need more fertilizer. That's a build I completely forgot about. Or rather, we don't have a build for that yet. I've just been grabbing significant amounts of fertilizer. So we don't have to build a proper build for it yet, because I wanted to do it with advanced chemical plants. Um, am I standing like here? Just not entirely sure. Wait for passenger present. That saving time? What about it? It's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, and then after I'm inside, please go down here. Damien CD1. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then go park over here and wait for something. And then we'll go back up the elevator. Okay. Give me that fertilizer. All of it. do I really need? Well, I think it's worth waiting a few seconds so that we don't have to do this again. While we're waiting, I could throw together a fertilizer build with our lovely advanced chemical plants. I don't suppose I have one lying around where we've already got advanced chemical plants uh, in the formation that I'm thinking of. Doesn't look like it. Let's just remove this. And start with beacon. Right about here. Bulk rail loader. Bulk rail unloader. Put that about in the middle. Advanced chemical plant. Prod modules. Uh, speed and efficiency. Give it some power. Probably already has power. Negative 70% power consumption, perfection, and our recipe, wait, what? Our recipe is going to be fertilizer. That's bio scrubbers. We'll need those as well. Um, 
I think we have to make Vitalic Acid in space, right? But we're going to do this on the ground regardless if we can benefit from prod modules. No, we can make Vitalic Acid here. Fantastic. So that's like three copy-paste edit template builds um, that we're going to be doing soon, I think. Uh, anyway, where is fertilizer? Here it is. Wait, one solid, one fluid in, one solid out. One solid, one fluid in, one fluid out. Never mind. And the other one was... A lot of stuff in one solid out. Okay. Not going to be that easy or boring. What's our rate if we do half block like this? 19.2 biomatter per second is actually kind of fast. But as far as belts are concerned, no it's not. 63 fertilizer per second. This is really easy. Easiest build of my life. As a matter of fact. Wunderbar. Uh, in fact, we could probably just do input and output belts down the middle. Let's do it. Purple belt for output. How fast is the output? 63. Are we ever going to pick up fertilizer with a small train? I don't think so. Definitely not. So we'll do a splitter. Right about here, perhaps. Kind of feels weird. Let's put it here. That also feels weird. Whatever. Whatever. How fast are these individually? 5.28 per second. We can do this with stacks. Uh, you know what? We're going to need superior longs, so let's do superior shorts. And... May as well put that there. And then for input, very, very slow. 1.6 per second. We could probably... Usually I do the input first, but now I'm building the output around the input. Or rather, the input around the output. It's fine. And a blue belt should be far more than we need here. Blue underneath the whoopsie daisy. And just for the look of it, move those back a little bit. And then... Uh, we only need like 20 per second. So I think I'll merge it with a chest. Could we move this over a little bit actually? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm happy with that, I think. Uh, and we're going to need a small amount of fluid. Very good. That's not going to line up quite the same. And we'll do our test inputs. What, uh... Isn't it nitric acid? Yes. And then... We know this works. Easiest build of my life. It can't all be super complicated, of course. Uh, how much fertilizer is this? 63.3 per second. I imagine that's going to be significantly more than we need for this foreseeable future. There we go. Uh, don't forget the LTN stuff. Whoops. Very important that that links to the train stop input, not the train stop itself. This will be fertilizer provider. What does fertilizer go into? Is it just going to go up the space elevator, or... It is definitely going to go up the space elevator. And... Unless we want to use it to make trees... That's all it's going to do. We might use it to make trees. No, we've already got a bunch of wood that we have to burn. I don't know if we'll do that. I say trees, I mean wood. Okay. Let's blueprint. And realize that we've gone over time for today. Not that surprising, considered... Considered? Considering I started late because it was very hot. But I can't go for much longer. Uh, I'm sure I missed something with LTN settings. This one's fine, and this one is not yet a requester. Don't really need to check that one. I'll just ask for exactly one train load and ignore this. Biomatter, stack signs, 100, uh, nitric acid, 100,000. You don't have pumps on the requester, good call, thank you. That's actually normally not the sort of mistake I would expect to make, but it is difficult to think when it's this warm. Okay. Uh, that's correct. And we just need to do the station name. Bio and Nitro Requester goes into Advanced Chemical Plant and out comes that. Beautiful. I believe that is our blueprint. And I think I already removed the cheat inputs. There's our snap to. Looks good. 
put it down next to the bioscience stuff because that's why we need it. And holy crap, the zoom out that we can't normally get in game. But we can with the editor. I'm sure a mod would allow you to zoom out like that. Um, kind of hard to make out any details. Although it's very, very easy to find our mall this way. For some reason, I was expecting the kind of zoom in and out just now uh, that you get from, like, Supreme Commander, where it zoom. Oh, it does do that on the map. That's why. That's why I was expecting the zoom to work this way. Yeah, where it zooms in and out based on the mouse pointer position. Okay. Let's grab a bit more of our temp fertilizer... Take it upstairs. Uh, this is enough. And then we'll arrange... Where should I build fertilizer? The Spanish, one of the first mistakes made, especially by English speakers, is... Estar y ser. Both translates to to be. I'm sure I'm butchering that pronunciation. Star, how, how does that Y character by itself work? Is there a... Oh, I remember. Fertilizer needs to go over here, right? Should be less than... Whoops. I was going to say it should be less than one chest. Oh no, it's going all over the place. Shut up and take my fertilizer. There we go. And now we can make genetics facilities. Um... Should I try and finish this before we finish today? This is the last Factorio stream for the week, so probably. Why do we not have scaffolding of all things? Uh, where's our dedicated scaffolding build? I've completely forgotten. Here it is. Right near the... kind of close to the space elevator. Uh, we've got plenty of scaffolding here, so why... Oh. It's all in other buffer chests. How much... oh my goodness. Uh, what if we do this? Instead of setting an even higher request to make or deliver scaffolding, I'm just gonna demand 100 scaffolding in here, and is that all? That's constants. That's an input. Oh, we can't read contents from this because it's set requests. Crap. Uh, I wanted to make sure there's just a little bit of scaffolding in this chest in particular. What if I read from the train? No, that doesn't work. Uh, just do it manually for the moment. I wish we could move things between buffer chests. Okay. What are we missing now? Space rail. How overburdened is our auto crafter? There's no regular rail here still? Uh oh. There's 4.8k. What are you talking about? What? What? Do, what? This thing's not full or anything. There's 4.8 thousand regular rail 
in this robot network. Are the bots running in circles or something? No, those two aren't connected. I don't know what's going on. Where's our request for rail? Here it is. Logistic storage 4.8k, exactly. On the way zero. Um, it's not in a... It is in a buffer ch Okay. Okay. Uh, let's just increase our request. Okay, so 4.8k plus 100 stacks uh, is 14.8k. Should be getting delivered right now. Well, there's your problem. Me in German land wondering why last stream of the week? Uh, last Factorio stream of the week, that's all. I do three days of space exploration so I don't burn out on it. I would hate to burn out on something that I enjoy. Uh, tomorrow is... has been Terraria for a while. I'm thinking about changing it. Um, I've only got one idea left for the moment for a challenge that I want to do, which is... Uh, I always forget the name of that big sword. The Ultimate Seed. I always blank on the name of Terraria's biggest sword. The... Surprisingly difficult to look up. Zenith. There we go. Not a word I use often. Uh, I haven't tried the Zenith Seed yet. But I'm a little burned out on Terraria, I guess. Maybe we'll try something else. And then I take a day off, and then for now, on Thursdays, it's Atrio the Dark Wild. Until we finish it. Thursday, uh, Friday rather, is oxygen not included. Uh, this is, these days are in Straya time, so it's probably one day off, what you're thinking of. Today being Monday. Uh, what else was I doing? I think it's gonna have to wait till next week. Yeah, I'm gonna go another hour if I get all this sorted out. Alright, let's find someone to raid. Zenith, indeed. Thanks for the stream, have a good day. Thanks for hanging out, Morpheus, and everyone else. Despite the fact I had to start late today, otherwise I would have melted. Okay. I haven't raided Mucky in a minute. I haven't raided Old Herlin. What the? Oh, I forgot, I limited my browser's CPU. It's extremely slow to respond at the moment. Tea time, Darius. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, octagons are bestagons. Blasphemy. Okay. Um, although octagons obviously work better with uh, Factorio rails. Anyway, uh, I think we'll raid Mucky. It's been a minute. You don't have an AC and living in Oz? Literally, in the lease that we can't install an AC. The lease which uh, is about to go up by 43%. Of 
cool and normal. Thanks for the stream. Take care, Evil Plur, Johan Anderson, and everyone else. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Take care, guys. Man, I've got to fucking get it this time.